What's going on, everyone? I'm Carl. I'm Riley. And welcome to another live tasting room. Ready for another fun, exciting night tonight? I'm ready, but I don't think we're, I'm as ready as Rob is. No. <laughs> He's ready to start this porn show. No, this is not the new Pornhub live stream. We are doing a porn star meet. <laughs> we are doing a porn star martini done by Steve the Barman, who has basically called himself. The, the porn, porn star, star king. Porn star martini king. Martini king. Yeah, Im porn star. That's a huge. Important distinction. Important <laughs> distinction. All right. See you later, Rob. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, he has his regular version. We took uh, his main one that he posted a year ago, what he called the best ever porn star martini. And then we took two uh, variations that he did. So we're going to try three basically different porn star martinis tonight. Yes. Have you ever had a porn star martini? Negative. I had one the first night that we got this. You were at work. Oh, so you made one without me? Yep. Jerk. It's fine. Babe, if I waited to do everything with you, we would never do any I would never do anything. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> There'd be no research and development ever. It'd just be like never. late nights. Okay. So, so we've got Ghost Love in the chat. He said he's never had a porn star martini and this might inspire him. Awesome. We'll let you know. He's a new subscriber. I think he subscribed last week. Uh, so thanks again for subscribing. Yes. Anne is on her lunch, so she'll be in her back. We'll be in her back pocket. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Anne. Rob, you're gone. That's okay. Jess uh, said she loves porn stars martinis. Okay. I swear if you walk on the keyboard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Damio is here. What's up, bud? It's got to be some crazy time in China right now. Who's your favorite porn star? Hmm. I mean, names are not even a thing anymore, right? Like, they don't even really tell you their names. They just kind of cut to the action. Debbie Does Dallas. I mean, that's a movie. So, Debbie? I don't know. Anyways. Uh, it, everyone should look up Google Bennett's. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bennett's Morning. Go get the cats right there. I want to say Morningwood, but it's not Morningwood. I think it's Morning Star. Meadowood. Kind of. Meadowood. Okay, we're just going to tell you everyone to Google Bennett's Meadowood Country Club in Madison, Wisconsin, and look for smut and eggs. Just do that. We've been there. Why don't you just put the hat on? No. Because hats, hat. hats don't wear much. I'll no, wear the hat. No, we're not wearing hats. Oh. Um, okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with we're going to do the regular version here. The original. Well, it's not the original because oh. the original has a side of. Uh, champagne or prosecco next to it while you're drinking it ah so so it has a sidecar as it were well it's kind not of. a sidecar it's a yeah i guess so anyways the bartenders here hi 
What's up, buddy? What's up, Ben? Okay, so this version, we're going to do two ounces of vanilla vodka, one ounce of Pessoa. Uh, so this is a passion fruit liqueur, some lime juice, vanilla syrup, passion fruit puree, and passion fruit juice. Man, I cannot even read my own handwriting. Okay, I can guarantee that this is going to need a martini glass. So the first thing that comes up is the same thing that came up when I Googled uh, the Smut and Eggs. The Smut and Eggs restaurant faces uphill batter at battle after hosting stripper event illegally. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, I think that, I think they've recovered. Yeah. So, that was so, a couple years ago or, or last year, early last year or something. Yeah, it's a trip. Um so if anyone's close to Madison, Wisconsin, you guys want to go, let us know. We'll drive 90 minutes to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of watching hardcore 70s porn while I was eating my breakfast. That's but true. it was it was for an sure an experience. an experience. Yeah. And probably the cheapest breakfast and cocktails we've ever purchased cheapest, in our lives. Uh, cheapest white Russian I've ever ordered. Four bucks. Four bucks, maybe. Yeah. Bloody Mary was also four bucks. Yeah. Breakfast, I think we paid for two breakfasts and a Bloody Mary each and a White Russian each. We paid like $32. So I'm going to apologize. Uh, Steve the barman wanted us to use a specific passion fruit juice. This is not it. That one was more expensive to order off Amazon. Yes. So sorry, this is not a real. We're cheap. Yeah, we're cheap. Well, the problem was is it came in one big box. So once you open that one box. Yeah. We've got to use it all. Well, this, this is one of two boxes so yeah. i can be a little bit more uh i don't know but passion fruit juice would be really good in a smoothie in the morning that's true but hey first time we're gonna go this way tim's here and jess or is here nice. what's up guys i'm going to assume does porn even contain passion anymore depends what's I... your definition of passion I'm going to plead the fifth on all of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys talk amongst yourselves. I have the right to, 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 I have the right to remain silent. And <laughs> this is I can and say we will be held against me. Yep. So I know a Coco Lopez, that company, they make a passion fruit puree, but uh -huh. I'm going to assume that's way more creamier. Uh, this uh, Funkin' Pro, um, this is really popular. Steve uses all this on some of his, and even uh, Kevin Koss was saying he likes this because it's more puree, less sugar. The other ones are more sugar based. Cool. So now there is still sugar in here to keep it. I don't even want to know what these uh these jackals are saying in the comments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Tim says he broke in because Rob said he wasn't invited. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess said she's just here for the chat tonight and grabs a popcorn. <laughs> there you go. We had popcorn earlier today. We did have popcorn earlier today. We went to a movie. What's that? What's a movie? What's a movie? What's a movie theater, I guess. Yeah. We went to go see the new King Kong vs. Godzilla. Yeah. All right. So, again, two ounces of vanilla vodka, one ounce of Pessona, half ounce of lime juice, half ounce of vanilla syrup, one ounce of passion fruit puree, two ounces of passion fruit juice. Do you want to hand me a martini glass, please? I guess. That's why I wrote martini right there on the, on the side, nice and big. See? Oh, oh. Uh, that's probably gonna be my two last kids. Oh, it's so far away. All right, you probably would normally double strain this, and I guess we can because it's right here. Whoa, I almost fell. But Timo right. said he'll just fly on over. <laughs> <laughs> He's on watching two hours. He shows us a plane ticket purchase for Iowa. Or Wisconsin. From Madison. Yeah. That'd be one expensive flight. I yeah, would. All right. So it's got a great, like, orange creamsicle color. Uh -huh. Right? So I'm really curious because the Pessoa to me tastes a lot like cough medicine. Yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that this, the mixture yeah. makes that. This, well, this is not the version I tried. So this is going to be a little bit different. Porn star drinks contain passion. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. It's very sweet. But it tastes like juice. So it's dangerous 
Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> this is the definition of a whoopsie drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like okay, you know, like those drinks you kind of start drinking like back when you're early early twenties, late teens, like Alabama Slammers. Uh, I can't even think of what else. But this is like an elevated version of one of those kind of sugary, fruity drinks, right? This is better than that because not super sugary. Tequila Sunrise. Yep. All of those. What's up, Teresa and Cam? All right, so let's uh, let's put that up front, and we're gonna do side by side all three. Oh no, that means I have to stop drinking it and save it. You have to uh, control yourself, woman. <gasps> control all this passion coming next to you. I've never <laughs> been able to control you. <laughs> That's true. I would fail if I tried. <laughs> I've tried. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is the coconut porn star martini. I think I'm really gonna love. I can like get behind. Thing. I can. Yeah. Get, I can get behind it. Yeah, I. We both really like coconut things. Um, Rob asks, "How sweet is the <sighs> porn star martini?" I mean, it's sweet. I would say it's the same level as orange juice. Just like if you're drinking orange juice by itself, I, I would it's compare. Still it. tart. It's still a little bit sour, but it's definitely sweet. Yeah, it's not gonna be like an Alabama Slammer or you know something super sugary. Um, yeah. This would, you know, if it was like 90 degrees outside and you're sitting outside, you know, it would go down like even smoother. Wouldn't it, yeah. wouldn't it taste as sweet as us sitting inside the house right now? Right. Okay. So again, we're going to do the coconut porn star martini. Again, these are off Steve, the barman, uh, YouTube channel. He's an okay guy. Stand up citizen. Nah, he's a really good guy. So go check out his channel. I'm assuming you guys all know who he is, but anyone who doesn't tell him Carl Riley sent you. Yes, Good old sure. islands. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the comments. Okay, so we're going to do an ounce and a half of coconut rum. We're going to use cruising. Oh, I'm sorry. This is rum with a coconut liqueur infused into it. Yeah, you got that. Got to be uh, technical, right? I can get behind us as every porn star casting director. <laughs> every porn casting director. Who um, who has seen Zach and Mira make a porn? Uh, porn? Zach and Mira make a porno? Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Okay, so we got ounce and a half. Check out, check the ABV, fool. What is it? Twenty-one <laughs> percent. So therefore, it is a liqueur. Yeah, but it doesn't say liqueur anywhere on the front label. Because nope. it doesn't have to. Um, yeah. Ben says coconut and passion fruit reminds him of suntan lotion. So we'll let you know if it tastes like suntan lotion. So I made a drink called uh, No Tan Lines. No Tan Lines, and it kind of has that. Uh, same Tropicana suntan lotion feel too, but it's really good. Why are you like... I don't know. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> Great Seth Rogen film. Very underrated. I, I agree. Agreed. We 100%. Co we quote, so when her and I started dating, I used to say all these dumb movie quotes, and I still do. Then we finally watched that movie after like three years of going out, and she goes, this is the movie you get all your dumb limes from? Li limes. Limes. <laughs> limes. So you limes. Get all your dumb limes from? Yeah. We're too sober. That's why he can't talk. Yeah. Okay. So, ounce and a half of coconut rum. Yes. Half an ounce of Pessoa. <laughs> every time I drink cruising, I think of cruising for a bruising. Man, <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I heard that phrase growing up. <laughs> I think cruising is an underrated rum, too. We used it at our at Seven Hills. We use that as our, uh, as our well, white rum, and coconut rum, and it's great. Uh, let's see. Why did I put half ounce of lime juice twice? Because maybe one's lemon? No. Are you sure? Positive. There's no lemon in any of this. The only reason I told you to squeeze lemon is for drinks later. Oh, right. Okay, so half an ounce of lime juice. Rob doesn't like Rogan. None of his movies? Have you seen Long Shot? Long Shot was amazing. Yes. Uh, let's see, then three-fourths ounce of passion fruit, fruit pure A. Do you want to do a quick check and go to Steve the Barman's uh, YouTube channel real quick? I can do that. So is anyone drinking anything um, right now besides us? And then one and a half ounces of fruit or a passion fruit juice. What am I looking for? Uh, just look for coconut porn star. Oh no. 
you won't hear what. What am I looking for? We're looking for the recipe. Scroll down. Scroll down. Vanilla syrup. Okay. Um, Ghost Love 3. Ghost Love 3. And a half an ounce of vanilla syrup. I'm getting ready. Every time. Huck a, or huck em, chuck em, football. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. <laughs> Who's that? Tiffany. W. Oh, your friend Tiffany? I don't know. Maybe. There's no picture. <laughs> Rob says, Googling coconut porn is a dangerous move. <laughs> don't worry. It was on his, his YouTube page. But yes, that definitely... the passion that's coming out of my eyes. No? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That one goes in a coop. That it says coop. That will not fit in a coop. When he <laughs> said coop and I look at all those <laughs> ingredients, I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> what kind of coop do you have? The extra large? This is my new favorite OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see someone make that red eye from that cocktail movie. What is that? From the cocktail. Cocktail. It's uh, with uh, Tom Cruise. Oh. The red eye. That's the drink with uh, beer, um, tomato juice, um, and a whole egg. So Steve, cool. the bartender, tried doing that, and he couldn't get through it. No, thank you. Hey, what's up, John? What's going on, bud? That's uh, the bartender from uh, Iowa City. Oh, nice. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh. Tim is drinking 45 mils of vodka with 60 mils of Campari and two cocktails dashes of Angostura. And, <laughs> cocktails and Dreams. That's So Tom Cruise wanted to open up a bar, and that's the bar he wanted to call was Cocktails and Dreams. <laughs> this kind of does taste like tan lotion. Mm-hmm. But in a good way. <laughs> yeah. But it does, yeah. Huh. I think I like the original better for right now. Right you want now. to do the other sip? No, go ahead and put it back. Okay. Talks amongst yourselves. I'll go through that real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk about what? Ben says he put a porn star martini on the menu at the bar he works in now. And the owner changed the name to Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> That's a great name. All right. So we know what Tim is drinking. What's everybody else drinking? Well, sorry, Ghost Love is drinking a ginger beer, a hard ginger beer. I had nothing to say. Okay. All right, so now the next one, he had a lot of other variations, but man, in the UK, you guys get a lot of odd liquors that we could not get here. Right. Like, maybe we looked in Madison a little harder, but we did not know what we were doing this one. So the next one we're going to do is the Porn Star Martini for Men. So there's two ingredients. We're just going to kind of go with it. So he wanted to, he used an ounce and a half or about an ounce and a quarter of a passion fruit rum. We sure as hell can't get that. If um, it's for men, shouldn't it be in a high ball or a low ball? Again, I'm going to guess this is going to be bigger because there's, I can read at least three ounces just in juices. Um, so we're going to use a spice rum crack and then we're going to use a quarter ounce of passion fruit juice to make up for that, which I know is not the same thing, but we're working with what we got here, people. And then he wanted to use half an ounce of a vanilla spice rum. I can only get a vanilla orange spice rum. So again, working with what we got, some lemon juice, passion fruit puree, and passion or pineapple juice. The martini with big dick energy. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but this is my favorite comment right here. Is it weaker? Jess, come on. Probably. And yes, it was Tiffany. She says she's sneaky hiding in the life. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... What did it see with that recipe? Okay, so we're gonna do an ounce of Kraken. Oh boy. Oh, it's 
it smells so good. Hmm? Do you want me to read it to you? Uh, you won't read my handwriting. I can read your handwriting. Pretty bad. Quarter ounce of pineapple juice. Passion fruit juice. Passion fruit juice. That's what I said. <laughs> what else we got on there? Half ounce of vanilla spiced rum. Which, again, we're going to use this vanilla orange, which, you know, I've, I've never had this before, but. I haven't either. It does nice. it smell like a dream sickle? Mm hmm. It does smell exactly like a dream sickle. This and like 7 Up. Oh. oh. Okay, after that. Um, lime juice, three quarters of an ounce. Okay. A uh, bar spoon of grenadine. Which, oh, which we're going to use, uh, we're just going to use some Marchino syrup here. We're just going to do a little, little dab. Okay. Uh, I can already feel that sticky. Okay. Um... Half ounce of passion fruit puree. And two ounces of pineapple juice. Yes. And Jess, I'm totally down to do another live. Thursday night, ladies night. We don't use fresh pineapple juice around here because to me, the pineapples go bad. Well, that is just, you don't get a lot and it costs like $5 for a whole pineapple. The juice quite literally isn't worth the squeeze. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I'm so anxiously awaiting this next one. I'm a little bit nervous. Whoa! I hate being sore. <laughs> the color's gonna be weird because that black kraken. Yeah. That is unappetizing me. Mud. <laughs> that is mud. <laughs> oh well. I guess it doesn't look as bad on camera, so maybe. Uh, maybe. Do you want to try it first? Go ahead. You got it in your hand already. It just tastes like juice. That's... It just tastes like juice. What's up, Paul? Yeah, it just tastes like pineapple juice. Yep. Booze on the rocks, Russian. Hmm? B-O-T-R. Tim says he's making booze on the rocks, Russian. Oh, okay. Oh, the Russian, yeah. <laughs> Anne says she's got a recipe for homemade grenadine. Once we make that, we'll never use anything other than that. And it's so easy. Yeah, I made it once. Not your recipe, but uh, I forget whose. But I'll check yours out because I like learning new recipes from everyone see how they yeah. do. And yeah, it was great. I just, I thought I had homemade grenadine, but it was actually, what was it? Paprika syrup. Paprika syrup. So that wouldn't work. No, not at all. Okay, so what do you think of the three? I like all but the last one. Yeah, the la again, the la last one's going to be completely different than what he made. And Jess was totally right. It's weaker. There's a lot of pineapple juice in there. <laughs> yeah. So I like the, yeah, the first two. Oh, man, but this coconut one. Yeah. So I'm going to look at the cards again. What was the difference between the first two? Coconut it, rum and vanilla vodka. And is... Basically. So the first one has two ounces of vodka and one ounce of pasola. Yeah. And the coconut one has an ounce and a half of coconut rum and then a half an ounce of pasola. Yeah. And then the volume yeah, is made up in juice. Yeah. 
Should we try to wing it and try to make our own version? Yeah. Use it. Maybe swap out the vanilla vodka in the original or in the good or the original ish one that we made, the first one that we made. Just swap that out for the. Oh, wait, no, the, the alcohol volume wouldn't be as high. Mm. Ghost, are you saying that uh, that this drink with the Kraken looks like garbage or just Kraken in, in general. general? But you got a special edition tiki glass. That'd be kind of cool. And just says she wants to see the Alchemix version. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Yeah. Just trying to think. Like, Passion Bridge is not something we really work with a lot because it's never really, like, you don't get it fresh. And, right. like, no, nowhere, like, I had a special order of Passion Fruit Juice and Pure Ice. It's not, like, a readily available just so I can go pick up at a grocery store. I've seen frozen Passion Fruit at Hy-Vee. Yeah. But not often. Let's just. He uh, said Kraken in general because it's so black. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. But man, I there's some days that like, Kraken like in Coke tastes good. Mm -hmm. It just has a different, yeah, has just a different spiciness to it. Yeah, and, a, a little bit more depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. Right. But yes, I get it. Like, yeah, once you add it to a cocktail, it definitely uh, changes up things. Are you enjoying that? Oh, okay. Is that what we're doing now? We're it just... was. <laughs> so is this what they do in porns? They just slam things, right? You, you can slam that one all you'd like. Slam. Da, 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 da. Let the boys be boys. Now, if anyone knows that song. I know that song. Oh, do you? Who yeah. sings it? I couldn't tell you. But it's been in so many movies. Yeah. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, yeah. Hang on, I got this glasses. <laughs> really? All right, see you later, Paul. Make that Uber money. Um, so are we going to make this our version of the porn star martini or not? I feel like we should put the coconut element in. Okay, we got coconut cream. Ooh. Or we have orgeat. That's almond. But that would be good. Gage says switch everything with orgeat it's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pro that's pretty accurate. Jess says it's onyx. There we go. <laughs> Huh. You know how we waited for like six months to get that orange flower water to come in? Carl. I can't, wait. When I'm in here, I can't hear you. So I'm washing dishes. What? You know how we waited for months and months for that orange orange flower water to come in? Yeah. Uh, Jess says she just replaces it with Contro. Gotcha. Now we have a bunch of orange blossom water. Yep. Okay. Coconut cream. Coconut cream. All right. So we're going to do, we're going to go to two ounces of vodka still. Yep. And, and instead of uh, the vanilla simple syrup, let's use the coconut cream. Yes. We're going to get shit based tonight. No? Okay. So uh, next week, or not, I'm sorry, not next week, but in uh, two weeks, we won't be doing a live stream. Uh, we have uh, plans that day. Unfortunately, we can't get out of. But about a month ago, we filmed a private uh, live YouTube uh, called Cocktails for Cure. Um, two chaired, two nonprofit organizations. Uh, we People donated 20 bucks. We did a private live stream. Well, we're going to make that public so everyone can watch the five cocktails that we made. Ben says he wants us to say hi to his little daughter. Oh, where'd it go? Aria. Air, is it Aria or Aria? Aria. Aria. Hey, Aria. Hi. Are you being nice to your dad? It's got to be what, like 11 in the morning there right now, I think. Woof. Did he make you a good breakfast? Oh, she's three. Oh, 
I remember when our kids were three many moons ago. <laughs> Little bastards. <laughs> but um, so anyways, yes, next week uh, or two weeks. I'm sorry. In two weeks, we're just going to replay that. Um, uh, check out the video. Explains all the charities in there. And there's going to be a link in that video description if you would like to donate any money. It'll get split between those two. We just volunteered our time. So we're going to make that live next or in two weeks. Yes. So. Oh, that's sweet that she's smiling. Good. Good. Jess said she also adds a thick balsamic to hers and play to her grenadine in place of pomegranate molasses, just a spoonful. Inter interesting. Yeah. Inter so Anne and Jess are talking about their gr grenadine, grenadine recipes. recipes right now. Yeah, it's also funny how many different recipe people uh, have for over Yeah. It's like it's just you know Louis had. I, I want to do a tasting room where we try. Like we make all three different versions and uh -huh. see. That's a lot of work. Meh. Like the quick version and then the yeah. almond version. Oh, we'll say hi to Olivia too. She's with Hi me. Olivia. How old is she? Getting kids watching cocktail channels now. I mean, I'm not about to tell you how to parent, but good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So again, we're doing, okay, so I'm not even really talking anymore what we're doing. We're just making the first version of the porn star martini. We're just swapping out the vanilla syrup for coconut cream. Yep. You want to list off what the ingredients are again more time, please? So we've got two ounces of vanilla vodka, one ounce of pasoa, half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of coconut cream, an ounce of passion fruit puree. puree. No, wait, that's yep. the juice. No, it's puree. 100% it says juice. I know, but I know. They both say juice. <laughs> oh, and then two ounces of passion fruit juice. The no, ju the one says puree. It's they just so different. They just look so similar. He just can't write. Or read. Or speak. So, uh... Ghost Love, where are you at? I know where everyone else is in this chat right now. She got excited hearing her name. Olivia did. Nice. Cute. Anything to make the little ones uh, happy. Yes. We're here for that. That's why I kicked my son up to his mom's house for the night. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually got a... He's got Easter and then... Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> hey, I'm a Colts fan, and we got your quarterback. Well, <laughs> Ben says we got future mixologists in the chat or in the live. Got what? Future mixologists. Oh right, yeah. Teach him young. I wish I had started learning when I was that young. And we just need a glass. Just use that one again. I mean, why wouldn't you? Okay. Every time we do a live stream, we, the entire bar is full of dirty glasses. And these are. How all... is this more full? I don't know what I did. Did you add one of the ingredients twice? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome for, that. for that. Hey, I take Wentz over Philip Rivers. You added too much or something, didn't you? It's really good. I think it needs more coconut, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know where it would fit in this glass. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I put in here more of. Hmm. So my final verdict on porn star martinis are... They're good. I just, I think good for breakfast. Oh, like a brunch. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be really good too. They're good. I just, I guess maybe I don't get all excited as Steve, the barman does. And I think he has a more sweet tooth than I do too. Yeah. I mean, I think they're delicious and I'm going to crave them very regularly. I think, um, but. Yeah, I'm not mad at all. Like, I would drink these all the time. I'm just saying, like, uh, um, 
I don't know. Like they're fine. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I drink it again. Yeah. Okay, I bye. I'm just I kidding. Wouldn't, I wouldn't kick it out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've never kicked me out of bed yet, so. And if you're going to make jokes like that, I need to keep drinking. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys going to try any of these porn star martinis? Ghost love? What, what kind of things do you guys... Uh, uh, Oh, Washington football team. Oh, right. Um, uh, Ooh, Justice to clarify it. Yeah. So Kevin Costa to clarify porn star martini. Did he? But it's not super clear because you can't pull all the puree look out of the passion fruit puree. What so, if you clarified it separately like you did with the uh, lime juice? That's what he did. Oh. There's another... There's another not like agar, there's something else he uses, but basically it's the enzyme that's in fruits that pulls it out. But I don't think there is a way to actually get it um, completely clear. Oh, okay. But it does look, it looks lighter and orangier and stuff like that. And then he did like a champagne foam on top. So. He says he's down passion fruit syrup, but he could pick it up. I, I mean, I love the flavor of passion fruit, yeah. like in smoothies or I guess that's the only real application I've ever had it in. Other than You know what I always loved it in is those frozen yogurt place that we go to. They always had passion fruit rambling in there. Yeah. You give a nice little big fruit bomb. Like when you those had those like, little, the little boba balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, orange leaf. Damn it. I don't even know where, how far we have to drive to get something like that. A couple Cedar hours. Rapids. Where in Cedar Rapids? Orange Leaf. I thought they closed. No, I don't, maybe. Did that one on Marion close? Yeah, but the one in um, on the, the southwest side is still there, last I knew. Yeah, but when's the last time we even went down there? Oh, I see. Before COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else that might go well with this that might kind of give it a little something, something, you know? I don't know. Tequila? I was kind of thinking that too. Should we give it a try? Or I don't know. Maybe we should ask them. Yeah, let's ask the people. The people. You can see most of our bar behind us. If you name a liquor, we probably have it. What should we try to... Sub out. Uh, make a variation of porn star martini, but with a different main spirit. Or mezcal, she says. <sighs> yes. Or, um, like, or a classic drink with that we could put passion fruit in. Like maybe a passion fruit mojito. Christine Camley. Hey, Christine. Uh, she says, I think a gin replacement is a great idea. A dry gin. Ooh. Pectic enzyme, Rob, comes in with the Smoking porn. Smoking porn star. That'd be a mezcal. <laughs> um, all right, let's... What do you think, babe? Well, I would be down to do either or both. We have gin if, and we have mezcal. I think if we're going to use the gin, I think this rancor, rancor. would work well with it. Yes. All right, well, let's try that and let's go. And then we'll go with the, we'll do a split base of tequila mezcal. We're not going to do, like, if we do two ounces of mezcal, that would, that's just, a lot. That would just be a smoke bomb. Yeah, that, that's a lot. I'm glad these have so much juice in them, though, because... Hydrating. All right, so I'm going to follow the coconut rum version of this. An ounce and a half of this. You think? Yeah. And I'll do an ounce of the Pessoa. Just kind of going with what I think. Just going with the wind. Wait, wait, how much of that did you use? An ounce and a half. Of Mezcal? No, the Rampour. Oh, right, right. We're in gin. Um, I mean, I'll do an ounce of Pessoa. Not half, not half an ounce? That's what the coconut? I know. I'm kind of like... Oh, you're, you're, free, you're freestyling? Yeah. Should I write it down? No, it's on replay. Or if you want to. Okay, and then we're going to do... I'm just trying to think of the sweetener. Gin. Coconut. With gin? 
it's lime flavored gin. Or I guess maybe not. Maybe the vanilla. Or just regular simple syrup. Mm. What's the base spirit for Pacella? Um, it's probably vodka. It's a product of France. All right, we did that. It doesn't say. It's probably vodka then. Probably. Most of that stuff's going to be vodka. Okay, so ounce and a half of gin. <laughs> Trevor says fashionably late, fashionably late, a.k.a. Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> Tim says juice. <laughs> juice. Okay, so an ounce and a half of gin, one ounce of pessoa, half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of vanilla syrup, two ounces of passion fruit juice, and an ounce of puree. I'm just making it very far tonight. All right. Oops. I hate this shaker so much. Quick Google search will not tell me what the Pessoa's base spirit is. So, yes, all the ingredients are in ounces. I'll let you give that one a go first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In case I die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is out of control. Go and get a look. That is delightful. It is amazing. <laughs> it is. It adds a sour level to it. A little bit. It take. It cuts the sweetness, but not so much that it's not an actual corn syrup martini. Yeah, I would 100% recommend this. So who told us to use gin? Uh, Jess. Said Christine. It. Well, and then Jess said it. No, she said it. Christine said it. What about replacing vodka with a dry gin? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Christine and Jim both. This ran poor because it has an orange. Um, it's lime. I don't know. I don't. That to me it looks like yeah, you know, red poor limes. Red uh, poor limes. Why is it orange though? It's so weird. But not all limes are green. Whatever. Not all oranges it. are orange. Yes, they are. What's Blood it? Oranges. They're are still red. orange. They have orange outside. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> but anyways, this is great. It adds a nut. I like this better than, um. Uh. We do not got cranberry. No. That is one of the things. I'm not a huge cranberry fan, so we don't carry it around a lot unless we specifically know we're going to make something with cranberry in it. Right. Yeah. I really like that. Yes. That's my favorite one so far. That is delicious. Hey, Steve. Beat that. Try that. Yeah. <laughs> I would highly recommend this. Okay. Now... Just don't sit down. Yeah. <laughs> These are going down way too quick. <laughs> someone feed us. Someone. Someone Uber eats us a cheeseburger, please. <laughs> yeah, we need a cheeseburger. Trevor said he made a passion fruit daiquiri using ship shipwrecked vanilla rum. I'm assuming lime juice and passion fruit liqueur. That sounds delightful. 
Uh, we do have grapefruit juice. Well, we have grapefruits, but they were really sadly disappointing. Uh, they didn't taste like anything when we mixed them into cocktails previously. So we can try that after we try the mezcal. I think that's the next. I think that's what's next up. Oh wait, I think these are the grapefruits my mom brought. So this might be a good grapefruit. <laughs> PJ says he's back for a moment or two, Paul. <laughs> Until he starts making my money. Until you get another ping. Right. How how is uh, Ubering out in good old Vegas? Oh, canilla, because uh, Trevor said he made a passion fruit daiquiri with canilla rum and not vanilla. And then he said, oh, uh -huh, yeah. canilla always equals vanilla. <laughs> cool. Anne's got on a ram pour gimlet coming out. All right. So, Ghost Love, you want us to use the maraschino? Yep. We got to do one tequila, too. Yes. Okay. We'll do the tequila one. Then we'll do the maraschino one. Yes. And then I'm going to pass out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to split base this. Um, yeah. We're going to do an ounce of regular tequila and half an ounce of uh, mezcal, I think. Why not three quarters and three quarters? Because it's a lot of mezcal. That is a lot. Of, that is a lot of mezcal. We can. Is that what we want to do? I'll do it. No. You're right. I'm wrong. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> The passion has died at Alchemix Bar. Hey, we're get, we're real close to that seven year itch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait. We're past that. Yeah. We're close to it, maybe. Seven years this month. Well, last month. This is when we first start hanging out. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do an ounce of tequila, half an ounce of uh, mezcal. And then we're going to do, we're going to do half an ounce. No, we'll do a full ounce of Pessona, I think. Pessoa? What? There's no N in it. Pessoa. You said Pessona. Which base are we using? The I'm original? kind of, I'm kind of just. You're winging it? Winging it. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to do three-fourths an ounce of. Uh, lime? Lime. To kind of, because. You know, kind of, I think, to complement that. Uh, well, to counter the sickly sweet syrupy pasilla. Yeah. And now I'm going to use agave. Oh. 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 Tequila or margarita style. Speaking of Vegas, 2020, y'all. <laughs> it's 2021, Ann. <laughs> <laughs> I think we. I think she meant twenty twenty two. Okay, probably, but <laughs> <laughs> unless you got a unless you got a time machine, <laughs> Anne's been drinking. <laughs> Man, that's some hardcore lunch she's going on. <laughs> right. All right. So we did half an ounce of agave nectar, and again, we're gonna do two ounces of uh, juice. Twenty twenty will never end, Rob says. <laughs> I hope not. And then we'll do, again, just another ounce of the puree. I'm going to go through this whole bag tonight, babe. Probs. There's so much juice and so much uh, non-liquor ingredients in all of these that I think we'll be okay. That's true. I keep using them I don't like. Yeah. Like that. Stop it. <laughs> Stop playing with my emotions, Smokey. What? Friday. Oh. Glass. All right. It's a big boy, too. Paul says, I leave on April 21st. Well, I'll just put it here. Yeah. You don't, he doesn't live in Vegas. He lives 
I forget. That was a short trip. He'll be going live from Vegas on his channel on April 20 in in that week. Yeah, I think he lives in Virginia or the D.C. area. You just go to drive Uber for a week. I don't know why. Where do you live, Paul? I forget. All right, so here we go with the mezcal tequila. Rob says we're going to have a sugar hangover, and they're the worst. That's how you felt after the Love Potion live stream. Cheeseburgers are going to be in order. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Needs more mezcal. Get out of here. It does not. <laughs> it's smoky as hell. It's okay. Needs a lot of work, I think. Yeah. That mezcal just takes completely over everything. You made a passion fruit margarita. Is what you did. I don't even think I would not even consider that a passion fruit margarita. It's close. Is it? I mean, I, I would say it's more of a margarita than it is a martini. It tastes like a margarita. Okay. So oh, right. now we're talking about yeah. poutine. Yes. Okay. So, Luxardo. I need two ounces of vodka, one and a half passion syrup, a quarter ounce maraschino liqueur, a quarter ounce maraschino syrup, and half lime, half an ounce of lime juice. Cool. Thanks. I'll try that. Yeah. Do that right now. Ooh. You know, I'm just going to give this a little sip by itself. This is just. Hmm. Why are you trying to use the cap for that? I just did. What are you going to do about it? The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's our Tito's? There you go. Behind you. Okay, two ounces of vodka. <laughs> that was squishy. I yeah, know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then half one and a half ounce of passion syrup. Yep. We don't have passion syrup. Puree. Puree. Whatever. I think it's sweet enough. Yeah. And then a quarter of each maraschino. Yep. It takes me longer to pour a quarter ounce it because I don't want to like over pour it. Right. Know? This we're just going to eyeball. Yeah, okay. we'll do it. The same bucket. He lives in Gainesville, Virginia. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know why I thought Vegas. He just likes Vegas. He loves Vegas. And then half ounce of lime juice. Should have told you to squeeze 20 limes. Yeah. Four was probably not enough. All right. So Trevor. So Trevor was up from last night when I got up this morning. He goes, guess who's drunk? <laughs> okay, Trevor. We were in bed by 10. By 10. <laughs> I was dead asleep by 10 o'clock last night. I was eating popcorn in bed watching NCIS by 10. <laughs> I do not remember that at all. Tim had to Google poutine. How dare you, man? <laughs> Stuff's so good. <laughs> I always want fries with cheese curds and gravy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> that is not a pretty color. <laughs> Why did it turn out like that for? The maraschino? Oh, yeah. Syrup. Oh, come on, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're about to have a poutine argument in the comments. You make it. You made it. You can try it first. All right. Ghost Love 3. Here we go. Tim says Mirka. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, kind of like that. It's got it's got a tartness. Yeah. Not like not like a tartness like the gin one. That's more sour. This it's is got an more, herbal. Mm -hmm. More of a bitterness. Yeah. A... I like it. 
I don't think I'd ever order that. But it's just not my style. I think they leave just like once in a while. Like you kind of like, you know what? I want like a little palette wrecker. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. It's Yeah. It does definitely hit wrecker. different. And, but like, yeah. Good job, bud. Yeah. So is there a Ghost Love 3? Uh, is there some sort of story behind that specific name? Or is that like your gamer ID for Call of Duty or something? Always kind of interesting. I used to have, I can't remember the the user tags I used to have. What? Hot Carl. <laughs> I did one of them with Hot Carl. Several of them were. <laughs> I remember on one of the modern warfares, you could change, they would let you um, uh, change your graphic and icon. So I did this guy laying down and a dinosaur pooping bacon into it on his face. <laughs> it was awesome. I just saw my brain. <laughs> Absolutely. The cheese curds are the best part, Rob. Absolutely. It's his Twitter identity. Hmm. I can't put this one down. It's the, the Mezcal one. I don't know. I'm over tequila person. Tequila and gin. I can't put this uh, Mezcal one down. Um, Ghost Love says his Twitter identity, but straight up Ghost Love was taken, but the music he makes is electronic. So using numbers made sense. Oh, right on. Where can we find your music? I know he just followed us on Twitter. Right now, my Twitter game for Alchemix is like none. My Twitter game is non existent. Yeah. I would I like to do it more just. I gotta find time, but I haven't been on Twitter since a former client stalked me. So, mm, yeah. So uh, in Iowa, um, I knew some of the where we used to live at one of the more popular DJs, EDM artists. He would throw a lot of shows, and he used to hire me to film recap videos for him. I'd do all his New Year's Eve and Halloween shows. It was pretty fun. See some good music, some free entertainment. SoundCloud now. Cool. We'll check it out. If you can drop your link in here, you can promote yourself. I don't care. Yeah. Self promotion. Do it. Do it to it. Actually, you can go SoundCloud right now and look it up if you want to. You have to have an account. Let's look stuff up now. I don't think so. Yeah, I just checked that. All right, you guys put your own link in. We can't find it. We're idiots. Yeah, no. Search function isn't working for us. Yeah. Says he's dropping an alarm. Wake up, remix track today. Sweet. Drop the link to that track in the chat. Yeah. We'll check it out. What are you? What kind of? Uh, are you like techno house? I'm going to assume. What subgenre of EDM yeah. do you? I wish you probably hydrate. It's been a hot minute. I've been hydrating the whole time. I've just been talking the entire time. Let's see what else we got. Shh, don't tell my wife and girl I'm sneaking back in. Shh, secret's safe with us, bud. Yes. Let's be indie folk. Indie folk. Nice. 
Passion fruit and white chocolate goes extremely well together. Oh, damn it, Trevor. It just sounds We sweet. don't have any white chocolate. We, we have chocolate. We have chocolate. Yes, I, wanna... I don't know about it. Yeah. Let's get away from passion fruit. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need something that's not this juicy. <laughs> DJ Rusty B in the house mixing the drink. <laughs> like, I too, I can't make like a shake that chicken. Like, wicker, 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 right. wicker, wicker. <laughs> you can't do the. Uh... You know what would be awesome is if we could have um, um, Mark Rebule, or Rebu. He's the guy that's always like in his robe and underwear, like doing like freestyle music all the time. Yeah, okay. You can look at me like an idiot, but most of <laughs> people probably know who I'm talking about. He's kind of nerdy looking. He's got glasses. And he's always in his robe and he's live streaming and he makes 100% music. Carl, don't do that. <laughs> No shipwreck, no wait. <laughs> yeah, that guy. This guy. <laughs> Can you drop the link in the description? Or uh, send it to us on Instagram, and then we'll put it. Instagram. We'll put it in the in the description. Yeah. Yeah, well, I love listening to music. I listen to music all the time. I try. Last year was my most hours on Spotify. Was eighty three thousand minutes, <laughs> which I don't think that's a lot, but oh, compared to is. oh, but I can't click it. I'm not going to put you in timeout. No, I can't click it because it, oh. no, no, wait here. There you go. There's a link if you want to copy and paste it. Get yeah, out of bed. Look bitch. for that. I love look it. Look for that. You make me a white Russian. Okay. <laughs> we want to do trivia at all? Or is that a girl's night thing? Do you want to do what? Trivia? Or is that a girl's night thing? No, we're not going to get the trivia out. That's a girl's night thing. That's Unless what? Jess says it's okay. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh. Oh, there's no three. Yeah. Uh, continue with Google. In my, yep. All right, so we just, it says create your SoundCloud account. Tell us your age. 40. Shh, don't tell people that. <laughs> What's you, what do you want your display name to be? Carl Bush. Alchem Explorer. Yep, there you go. All right, now we have a SoundCloud account. We can listen to you. Carl is compliant tonight. I love it. Who's, is that Tim? <laughs> Put him in timeout. No, I'm not putting Tim in timeout. I love Tim. Tim, you're in timeout. <laughs> you're in TV timeout. Uh, Ghost Love, I would love to copy paste, but with the the way that the program we're using is you set can, up. No, you can copy the link from the SoundCloud. And paste that into the comments. Right. But I he was telling me, I think he was telling me to copy and paste it into the browser, but I can't because it would the program we're using won't let me select the message. I understand that, but go to this up here. Select the song. Uh-huh. Okay, click on it. Uh-huh. Don't hit play. Click on it. Now, copy that URL and paste that into the comments. Right. That's what he did. I know. It was already there. I think he's just doing it. No, he was, I think he was telling me to copy and paste it so I could put it in the browser. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Listen. I was. Anyways, no. <laughs> we, got, we got it. We, we searched for the name of the song. Okay. Mr. Black, Tia Maria, or Klua? Tia Maria. Oh no, where's the mouse? It's right there. It's stuck. It's dead. Oh no, no, I just had to click. Oh. Okay, so we're doing two white Russians. Uh, she's going to do vanilla vodka with Tia Maria. I'm going to do coconut rum with Tia Maria. Oh, weird. 
Yeah, it's going to be super sweet, probably. Yeah, that's going to be wild. You might need to put a little bit of, like, regular rum in there. Just yeah, to... we'll be fine. House of Bye. House of Bye. Hey, hey. I wonder. You wonder. I'm trying to think. Uh... Yeah, Mark is great. I've been listening to this guy on and off for a couple of years now. I like we play at like breweries. He would just set up a camera and do a live stream and people would just come give him a dollar. And then he goes, what you, what do you want me to sing about next? And they would say something. And then, uh, uh, he would just start making a new song about that, like custom beats and stuff like that. Basically he's like heat box. Yeah. But just more popular. Cool. Hey, uh, ghost love. If you like Mark, check out a guy named heat box. Yeah. Uh, uh He's the same kind of style. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've seen him multiple times. He's pretty good, too. He's actually really good. Until my wife gets home, I'm the man, <laughs> says Tim. <laughs> Trevor says to put something bitter in yours. Suze, if you have it. But we, we do don't not. have it. So, chocolate bitters? Oh, I thought he was talking about, like, Kapari, like a bitter. Oh, probably. Cup. But thank you. Cheers, everyone. Thanks Cheers. for hanging out with us. It's been an hour so far. Yeah, you'll love Heatbox. We've seen him. Uh, I've seen him a lot of times. He's one of those artists that you like to take, like new people see it. Hey, go check this guy out. And yeah. it's super good. He does. Heatbox is more of a, a beatboxer than he loops like the certain noises he makes. He beatboxes, loops that into song. So it's a pile of, just like Mark. But anyways. Yeah. This is delicious. This is the perfect oh antidote to all of the juice. Oh, that's delicious. That's really good, isn't it? That's delicious. Mm. I'm the man until my one year old's up at his home, then I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling your wife you said that, Tim. <laughs> so, what were you guys? So, who's excited to see the new Mortal Kombat movie? Uh, I, we are really both excited to see it. Yep. I am. We just saw the new King Kong and uh, First Godzilla. Uh -huh. That was good. Uh -huh. I know we kind of already mentioned it, but I'm just kind of filling time. Specs on your drink, Carl. I did a free pour, but I'm going to guess it was two ounces of coconut rum, two ounces of Tia Maria. Coconut rum liqueur. Yeah. And then uh, two ounces of Tia Maria and then just a splash of heavy whipping cream. Tyler's Tyler finally joined us. What's up, Tyler? And he says he's super excited for Mortal Kombat. Mm. Yeah, I think that's going to be super dope. <laughs> Tuller with a Y. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was in middle school when the video game came out. My buddy had a Sega Genesis. Yeah. And we would play the original all the time. Like, it was so fun. The original movies don't hold up so much. The first one kind of holds up. I mean, it is what it is, you know, but like the second one, yeah, scary. <laughs> but, you know. I've never seen any of the Mortal Kombat movies. I've never played any of the Mortal Kombat games. Wait, no, maybe I did in like an arcade once. Yeah. But the movie were, looks dope anyway. <laughs> yeah, it looks super like unnecessary violence. Like, all right, you have me. You know? Yeah. yeah. Super good. I don't I wouldn't say unnecessary violence. I would say it's all necessary. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, where's your late note? <laughs> Did you I need your mom just to, to sign a paper that says you're late for the doctor's appointment. Yeah. Yeah, I don't play uh games either, video games anymore. Like basically my hobbies now are web development, video production, and website. Basically, Alchemix is my hobby anymore. But yep. back in the day, high school, middle school, it was something to do. I mean, that's really all the entertainment you have besides going outside play sports. I'm a nerd. <laughs> he, be, he cried. Wait, was he three? <laughs> Tim, that's just mean. The friendship finishers. Oh, yeah. So in Mortal Kombat, they had to keep evolving the game, right? So when you had to finish them, like kill them off, 
they kept getting more violent and violent and violent. Then they started doing these friendship ones where like you would, I, if I remember right, like certain characters would kiss them or hug them. Like it was like, instead of killing them, you would give them the friendship love or something like that. It was really weird, but yeah, I don't know. Wow. I'll stop talking now. Okay, hop, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm not carrying this. Which one is what up here? Uh, this one's the gin one. This is the last one that you made. The mezcal one? No, I drank that one. The cherry one? Yeah. This cherry one is doing some weird things in the glass. Yeah, it is. <sighs> Something's curdling in there. But what would curdle? There's nothing to curdle. Maybe it's, it's the residue like, from the other one that was in there. Or maybe it's just like the passion fruits. Yeah. Oh, collecting. the pulp. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Man, that gin one is amazing. Yeah. That is 100% my favorite one. Yep. We are definitely going to make an individual video about that. Yes. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> Tune in at some point. Like and subscribe <laughs> for more videos like this one. Boring. This nonsense. Ridiculous. Nothing worse than baby. Oh, yeah, because it would turn someone into a baby. Yeah, I don't, it's ridiculous. But I really don't understand video games. Like the Modern Warfare ones were fun just because you get to talk online. Like I remember when the when the first mod Sydney was Halen wasn't even born yet. Not even like conceived yet. And uh, I remember uh, it was Call of Duty, like one of the very first Call of Duties you can play on Xbox. Like it took a lot of things to get Xbox online. Mm -hmm. And I would be playing that all the time. And the mother, my kids, my girlfriend at the time would be bitching at me. Like, Why are you always on this? Blah, blah, blah. Well, one day she took off work. And I come home from like, like a 12 hour day. And there she is, headset on, <laughs> playing video games, yelling at people. And I'm like, you like it, don't you? She goes, Oh my god, this is amazing! I'm like, it's therapeutic that you just yell at people and shoot and kill people. It was so fun. Like, and we're talking like '04, so it was like original Xbox and '04 is when I was playing. Like, all of the people I hung out with, they would take their Xboxes to other people's houses and they would hard connect them all and have Halo parties. Oh, Halo parties were fun. I used to work at Best Buy during that time, and on Sundays we closed at six. So everyone would bring their Xboxes in. And back in the day, they used to have like the big 65-inch Mitsubishi TVs. We'd all use that. And, so you'd and have Halo parties at Best Buy. Best Buy. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> and me and this one kid were so good that we were not allowed to be on the same team anymore. Because we, because back in the original Halo, all you needed was the shotgun and the pistol. Yeah. Because you'd zoom in with the pistol. And it was, it was a sniper rifle, basically. I was, always, I was always so bad. Yeah. But like, they would just... Give me a controller. Hey, just run around in circles and just shoot people that you run up against. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Halo was my jam. Uh, I used to wake up in the middle of the night to my dad playing Modern Warfare in my room like a psycho. <laughs> How crazy. Like, you got to be dreaming some weird dreams. All of a sudden, you wake up and you see your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, that explains so oh, much gosh. now. Thank you, Tyler, Dad, for uh, doing. <laughs> yeah, for doing this to you. Oh snap! Vino's here. I don't know. Is He's it is late. it is it Vino or is it Jen or Ann? Ann. Oh, who knows? Who knows? You got people sneaking in your guys. How do you guys? How do you guys see your doors unlocked to let other people come into your house? I don't yeah, really get it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we don't even lock our doors, and people don't even come into our house. Right. Well, we will soon. <laughs> we will now. <laughs> Where's your late note? <laughs> Daniel's on top of it. He's yeah. he's that he's the teacher's aide that's just sitting there. The Cody's checking papers. Yeah, go get your note. <laughs> Do you have a note? Why are you late? It's not an excused absence. Is this our first live party. stream? No, but this is probably our six, six? or seven. Seven. Yeah. So our first one. It is actually my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Um, our first one was actually New Year's Eve. Uh, we did one because it was New Year's Eve and uh -huh. why not? And then we did one New Year's Day. The, we did one 12 hours later. Was that one live? Yeah. We live that <laughs> one. Because remember Peter? Yeah. was in that one. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. drank a glass of Bloody Marys. 
Now we do a live every other Friday because her work schedule, she has every other Friday off. See, the way my schedule is set up is that I can do this on every other Friday. Right. So, <laughs> yeah. So we've been doing that. It's been fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really enjoy this because it's like I'm drinking with my friends, but I don't have to leave my home, which means I don't have to put real pants on and I can just wear leggings. <laughs> yeah. And if I just want to leave the conversation, I just hit end stream and walk away. <laughs> I don't have to like figure out a story and like, oh, right. There's a bomb at my house. I got to go figure that out. Bye. Yeah. Oh, shoot, man. My cat just puked everywhere. Got to go. <laughs> yeah. Bina was in the New Year's Eve one. Yeah. Rob was there, too. Tim, you had like 14 drinks <laughs> on New Year's Eve. Tim was smashed. Lit. lit. I can't wait till we all, like, oh, like, maybe that should, ooh. Tim was lit, burnt out, then got lit again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> he had like a third win that night. Yeah. No Irish goodbyes on YouTube Live. <laughs> <laughs> so Carl, when he gets real drunk, he just decides to disappear. Because his body goes into this like autopilot mode where everything powers down except for his ability to get to the bed. <laughs> hey, I know where <laughs> I want to be. Doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter what he does, he either falls asleep sitting where he's at, or he just walks home. Or if he's home, walks to bed. I I've, been... I've walked like over a mile to get to bed. <sighs> to I think the most I've seen you walk is three miles. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. And it's it, like, we'll be out, we'll be having fun, we'll be with friends, and then all of a sudden we'll be like, where's Carl? Because, like, he went to the bathroom a while ago, but he never came back. <laughs> and so uh, we'll be like, where the, where's Carl? We'll, like, we've gone to other bars searching. Maybe we left him somewhere. Maybe he decided to go somewhere else. And then I'll get home after this grand adventure, and he's sleeping in bed just fine. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> five miles. Yeah. Now, when I go out to other cities that I am not familiar with, I tend not what. That's when you get all Hulk. You. <laughs> That's I was. We gotta I'm go. Talking, I'm talking like. <laughs> no, no, we gotta go. <laughs> hey, I was drugged. I got ketamine. Do you guys want to hear about the time that I was supposed to get roofied, but then Carl did instead? No one wants to hear. That Everybody nonsense. wants to hear this story. No one wants to hear that nonsense. So it was my birthday. We were in Madison. We were going to see a prof show. Uh Prof is a hip hop artist from Minneapolis, independent, awesome. Check him out. Um, and in the middle of the show, I give him my Cheers, drink. Paul. I give him my drink and I go to the bathroom. I come back after the line, you know, because there's a line in the women's restrooms. And my drink is gone. And he's here. Just, where's my drink? Oh, I drank it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it was full. It was completely full. Yeah, it was brand new. So basically, I was out of my drink. She gives me a full drink. I'm like, oh, I got a full drink. Let yeah. me smash this thing real quick. Right. Because, like, I always hold my drink like this up against my chest. So, like, when I'm hanging out, like, theoretically, I'm safe because it's right here. If you're going to put something in it, I know where it's at. But we're at a concert. So it's a little bit different. And we were right in front of a level. Like, it was all standing room, but. Like a step or two down, like yeah. there's like different floors or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I'll let you tell the rest of the story because I tell it wrong. Yeah. Well, so backpedal a little bit. When we go to concerts, we're not always like shoulder to shoulder. I'm I'm up a little bit above her. She's she was back behind me talking to other people because that's yeah. what we do. We like talking to other people, especially prof concert. Yeah. Because everyone's there for the same reason. It's, everyone's usually pretty friendly and yeah. stuff like that. He's talking to the people on his side. I'm talking to the people on this side of me. We're just hanging out, having fun. Yeah. And so um, so then <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember anything at all. How can I tell the story at all when I don't remember it all? Okay. So basically what had happened was uh, a couple songs after I get back from the bathroom, Carl goes from party mode to... Roid rage, just like fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me, deadpan. His face is all droopy. It's weird. And he goes, "We gotta go." <laughs> like neck veins popping, and just we gotta go. <sighs> Bye, demo. Bye, demo. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> and 
So I'm like, all right, we're going to go in the middle of Prof set. It's fine. It's not my favorite song or my birthday or anything. We're going to leave. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, we get outside. I'm like, where do you want to go? Like, do you want to go back to the hotel? Do you want to go to another bar? Where do you want to go? This guy has the audacity. He said, I don't care. <laughs> we got to go, but I don't care where we go. Just not here. <laughs> we just not, not here. Yeah. So we go to the bar next door and I get us a breakfast shot. Ooh, breakfast. Breakfast. Um, and he goes to the bathroom, comes back, takes a shot, says, gotta go. <laughs> okay. So we go and we get outside again. Where do you want to go? And this time, the, this time that we got to go was a lot more urgent. And I left a hundred dollars worth of merch on the bar. She forgot. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I didn't forget. Well, I did forget. forget. I did forget, but I panic forgot because right. aggression. Right. <laughs> and, um, so we get outside. I'm like, where do you want to go? And I look at Uber. It's going to take us 20 minutes for an Uber to get here. So I decided to take us to a chill bar while we wait for our Uber. A fancy bar where they make household fashions. For like $15. Of, yeah. Because so far. <laughs> it's, a tr it's tragic. <laughs> um, so we go to this bar and I buy him a... $18 old fashioned, which is a lot in the Midwest. I don't know about New York, but. <laughs> <laughs> and he leaves it sit there mm -hmm. and does not drink it. So I end up choking down an $18 old fashioned that I hated. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm hammered. So we get to the Uber and this man is chatting up a storm with our Uber driver. Hasn't been talking to me at all. And usually if I get in a car, and I'm drunk, I fall asleep. Just instantly. But now I talk, and I don't remember this, but she said I was talking to him about, about politics and religion, two things I never talk about. Right. If you want to keep friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so anyways, uh, she gets pizza. We go back to the hotel room. I take a shower, and the shower is either ice cold or I, or steaming hot. And she said my skin was all red for how hot it was, but I didn't. I did not know it was a hot. Right. All of a sudden, I wake up, and I come to. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. The TV's on, infomercial. And I go... I wake her up. I go, what happened last night? And she goes, she, tell me all this. I go, I remember absolutely zero about, like, it's a complete blackout. Like, sometimes when you blackout, you can remember pieces here and there. You know, like, you kind of remember this. You kind of remember that. Oh, yeah, I was kind of asking. Nope. It's instantaneously. I remember her putting that drink in my hand. After that, I don't remember the rest of the night. So she told me, because she unfortunately has been ketamine before in the past. No, I've not. Had, I've not been. Uh, I've not. I've been roofied. I've had somebody has let me GHB. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it what he experienced was a different feeling to what I yeah felt because you weren't hung over the next day. Right. Yeah, I was completely fine. Like I had nothing happened. I just woke up like, what the hell just happened? So <laughs> not just Uber driver was PJ. PJ. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was ketamine when it was supposed to be her and so our whole thing is whoever could have mean her watched her give me the drink me slam it and was like damn it this happened again <laughs> so that's the happy ending rob the happy ending is that it wasn't me that drank it because what happens when carl gets drunk is i take care of him what happens when i get drunk carl leaves me at the bar just leaves me there hey that when we first started dating we're hanging out i got some books for that had me at City Hall in Denver. Felt like I was part of the hangover move. Yeah. This like, is the Georgia School of Tor Storytelling. Yeah. We've told the story a lot and we're bad at telling it. But yeah, long story short, Carl got roofied instead of me because he drank my drink and it's his fault. Yeah. Sorry, Vino. <laughs> you bet not drag in this. Hey, at least we're not talking about a book, right? Sorry, Georgie. I love books. I know. that On Sundays... This is Dana. He talks about a book and makes a cocktail or two from the book. I want to have a drunken book review. Yeah. Who wants to do a drunken book review with me? That would be fantastic. Like a drunk book club. Yeah. Let's do that. Weren't we talking about this with Jess or someone? Yeah, we were. I want to do that. You gotta... <laughs> That's not a cocktail book. Just a regular book. Just a novel. Just a novel? Yeah, just a novel. Count me out because I don't read. We probably should. Hmm. Nobody's into the idea. Yeah. Georgie does for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jess is in for that. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, Denver, go slow. I, I, I have some people out there. And Tips they tell and me, pages, just There you, you go. It. They tell me some crazy stories, like what the shit they get into. Now with marijuana being legalized, so it's all compounded, you know. Same thing called ghost stories. <laughs> nice. My ex was big into, she's still into like the ghost stuff. And uh, what's the show on Discovery or whatever? Which one? The what? Ghost Adventures, Ghost Hunters. Ghost, Ghost Hunters. The Ghost Hunters International is great. Oh, she watched all that crap. I'm like, this is all the same thing. They all think they saw something. They all thought this. And I'm like, this is all stupid. They're never like, oh, they're never going to find it because it doesn't, it's not real. Check out it is. I'm like, no. <laughs> Let's go take go tea. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we need, Jess, we need to make this happen. Let's talk on Discord later. Yes. Wrap it up. Do what? Do you want another drink? Should we have another drink? What should we drink next? Yes. Well, you guys. Go slow. What? Up. Okay. Uh, I know pretty much everyone in this group. What is one of your favorite cocktails? And we'll see if we can make it here that you might that you like or something. I mean, if it's old fashioned, I mean, whatever. But like drunk history, yes, that would be hilarious. Bazinga. Oh, Tim. I love you. Yes, the Bazinga does sound really good right now. Hmm. Well, see if anyone else has any ideas. I am passion fruit out, so. Oh, I can't. Dark and Stormy does sound really good, actually. Oh, drunk history. <laughs> oh, how was that, Rob? Trade wins. It was awesome. Yeah. I can't do a rusty nail because I don't have a dram buoy. Yeah, I'm going to do a dark and snowmer because I like cracking. It's got to find our ginger beer. It's somewhere around here. So we did a tasting room. One of our next tasting rooms, I don't know when it'll be released, probably next month or so, is going to be uh, ginger beers. We tried like three or four different ginger beers. Yes, I need to get Drambuie because I love Drambuie. I used to play poker and just drink Drambuie on the rocks. Let's see. Ginger beer, where are you? Oh, right here in front of my face. I love ginger stuff. So good. We don't have uh, Ghost Love suggest uh, doing a Dark and Stormy with uh, Kraken. So a midnight and yeah, midnight with a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger's Kraken. Midnight with a hurricane. Do we have to here? Oh yeah. Yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right, sounds good, Bino. We'll see you in there. Um, we did not get Aspa. Yes, we do. We have it. Oh wait, yeah, we do. Tim was one of the first people to comment on things. Like, he was like, do something with that. And I was like, okay, and I never did. No, wait. What is it? It's a brandy. It's that fancy looking one. That one of the first bottles we bought that was super fancy looking. It's... Well, this Epcot brandy. I think we drank it all. Really? Maybe. Back I would be super surprised if we drank it. Maybe it's not here. We have so much liquor. Hmm. Did we really drink it all? No, there's no way. I think we did. I think we used it to make some. Huh. 
Weird. I don't even remember. Anyways. Oh, wait. I lied. It's right here. Yeah. Same place the Kraken was. I do not want a dark and stormy. What do you want? What should I have? We do not have apricot liqueur. We only have apricot brandy. Yes. Ooh. Do you want me to try and make a banana cream pie? Yeah. Okay. So my, <laughs> my friend, she owns a, a, a cake bakery. And uh, her cupcakes, she has three flavors. And one was banana cream pie. And I was like, ooh, that would be like a good cocktail, I think. So we need banana, vanilla vodka, and cream, right? Yep. And an egg. Are we going to do it as a flip? Yep. Yeah. I love flips. <laughs> this, this right here is precisely why my uh, exercise regimen and healthy eating kick has failed every time I've tried. Tim has to help his wife. Look how sweet that is. What? Is it Tim's helping his wife? How sweet. We are. All right. I don't remember which one this is, but I'm going to drink it. I love flips. Master, your glass is here. Hi. Do you remember his name? Nope. Leave you. Leave you. Yes. I'm so bad at names. All right. Uh, Ghost Love. Do you want us to keep calling you Ghost Love or do you want us to? You would like to go by your first name. Mariah keeps kind of a running tally of people's names. Yeah, but I always forget that sheet on the other side of the room. So I have a new sheet today. What are you looking for? Measuring glass. Okay, so what we're gonna do? So what's uh, what's happening in Las Vegas tonight, bud? Anything exciting? Okay, so. Two ounces. Two ounces? Okay. Jesse. Jesse. Done. One you, ounce. You can call me Jesse. So, <laughs> so that's not his real name. That's not his real name. <laughs> but we'll call you that. We'll call you that. <laughs> Love it. Love it. This bar is getting crowded. And then just an ounce of heavy whipped cream. Sure. Give it a just give that a quick try. Yeah. Can't be bad. No, not at all. <laughs> if it's bad, I quit drinking. Right. Just kidding. I already quit drinking. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> that's that's aggressive. Give it a little quick dry shaky shake. Give it a shake shake. And then I'll give it a sippy sip. Okay, this will take a coupe glass for sure. Oh, I was gonna say we can just use this one again. No. He's like, I refuse. Or how about Nick and Nora? Sure. We haven't used our Nick and Nora's all that much yet. If we're picking our names, I would be called Adon Adonis or Elmer Fudd. <laughs> I'll call you Elmer. That's fine. Adonis is a little ambitious, don't you think? Livio says he just got home, so the Vegas excitement just ended and the Alchemix live chat excitement just started. Whoop, it just whoop. started. We got to keep going. It just started. When is when is that <laughs> new series coming out that you did a little uh, uh, little sneak peek into? Was it last week or two weeks ago? We kind of watched it like a minute long. You're like, that's it? And I'm like, no, this was just like a little teaser trailer. Uh, yeah. Jess says that she's sticking with Savage, but we can call her Savage. Because she's a savage. It's fine. It's not that serious. We're at home. <laughs> oh, it looks like banana cream pie. And now hey, what's Nicholas up, Nicholas? Here. Okay, so real quick. 
So Nicholas added me on Facebook as a friend, which is fine. I, you know, more than glad. Happy to. Happy yes. to. He is an amazing photographer. Yeah. Like his pic, his photos are dope as hell. Like he's really good. I wish my thumbnails were just that amazing. Needs more banana. Needs more banana. Mm-hmm. In about three weeks. Aw, he's blushing. <laughs> hey, dude, you're good, man. I'll, I call out talent when I see it. Okay. I mean, I still gonna drink it. Yeah. But I think it needs something banana. else too. Maybe grated nutmeg on top. Do that. I'll get the grater. You get the nutmeg. It's right here. Coolio, we uh I'm looking forward to seeing that. It looked really cool. I love seeing stuff behind that. I mean, you live in Vegas, so you have great opportunities to see a lot of that behind the scenes stuff of major uh, companies. And I'm assuming that was all shot in Las Vegas, unless you went to like LA or something. But yeah, it's a quick jaunt to LA from there. Four hour drive. Uh, what we're making right now is I'm trying to make a banana cream pie. So, we, uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm using a whole egg white, uh, banana liqueur, vanilla vodka, and just heavy whipping cream with a full egg. All in Las Vegas. Cool. So the first hour and a half, we made five different versions of a porn star martini. Yes. And then six. we got, we and then we got passion fruited out. And then we got passion fruited <laughs> out. Uh, we made... White Russians. White Russians, and now I'm drinking a dark stormy, and then we're on this. So this is research and development. I, I feel like this we've we've hit the research and development mm. portion of the evening. Um, that it's still it still needs more banana, and maybe so. Like, hear me out. Like maybe like just a quarter ounce of Smith and Cross or Appleton to give it the no, graham that's, cracker crust. That's what I was. It needs yeah, and then it shake. It's not that cold, right? But I don't think that's like. I don't think the flavor is affected by that as much. I know, but I'm just talking about just the taste. Like just, right. It definitely needs something caramelly too. See you later, Bye, ben. ben. I'm assuming you gotta go to work or something. Have a good Saturday. Because it's like your day. Right. What did you make? What kind of flip did you make, Nicholas? Post the specs and we'll put it up and we'll check it out. Probably so we'll make it Ben's in work. Australia. Nicholas is out in Australia. Um right yeah 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 so maybe an ounce and a half of vanilla vodka quarter of an ounce of smith and cross an ounce of the vanilla it's a secret for now Ooh, mr fancy dude you're just telling us no one else will know <laughs> <laughs> no one watches this shit trust me nobody no one I mean, we just went from 12 to 8 people, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might collab with Riley. Yes. <laughs> I love flips. I love anything that tastes like dessert because yeah. my sweet tooth is, like I said, Dude, out it's of control. A whole, it's a hot. <laughs> it is out of control. Babe, you might need to go get help. I need to go to Sugarholics Anonymous for <laughs> sure. Is there, is there such a thing? I don't know. Okay, so let's do that. Let's try it again, but better. <laughs> you know... And for Trevor says, I won't look, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> close your guys, close your eyes, guys. Did you buy the Bailey's Deluxe? No, I have not yet. Um I so the other day I was staring, was it yesterday or two days ago? I was legitimately staring at all the Bailey's because there was like six of them. Mm -hmm. And I don't think Deluxe was one of them. No, my mom just bought the uh she was up here yesterday. She bought the Bailey's light. Yeah, and she gave me a little mason jar full of that, and it was—it's good. It's like Bailey's, but less sweet, and I like that. Yeah, I know they had the red velvet, the light. Uh, I want to try the almond milk one. The almond milk, and they had a—I think like a sea salt caramel one. The yeah, that's been out for a while. Yeah, I'm just trying to go through, but I know they didn't have the deluxe because I remember that picture you posted, and I remember seeing that, and I didn't see that up there. So I looked, 
But when we drive to Madison next time, yeah, it's in green, green. In my, okay, we'll look for that because I know I'm, I'm, look, I really want to try that one. Yes, like the caramel one. I don't really care about the Absolutely red, not. the red velvet one, meh. But that one, the almond milk one, and the deluxe it, one, I think are my two. Do you yeah. want a straw? Yes, straw please. Oh, I need to know, Eggy. See this? Do you, mind, do you mind maybe putting some of this off of the... I guess I can things? clean things up and do the dirty work. The women's work, as it were. We're... We keep buying bottles that we have no room for. <laughs> um, this table behind us has zero me. space. We need that out still, right? We don't need the cracking out. Here, here's more passion fruit. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're gonna do a full egg. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I can take this coconut rum away. And we're gonna do an ounce and a half of banana. Ounce. Well, did you do an ounce? I last did an time? ounce last time. Yeah, so then do an ounce and a half. Oh, so much sugar. And then we're gonna do uh an ounce and a half of this, right? Yes. I'm going to replace. Or maybe just do an ounce. Uh, just an ounce, yeah. And then a half an ounce of sweet of Yeah, because I added a half an ounce of banana liqueur, so. Yeah. See. Anne says she's going to make an Italicus Negroni. Ooh. That sounds delicious. I mean, I don't even I don't even like Campari, and I don't like Negronis, but Italicus I think would add a sweetness that I'm missing. Okay. Because I feel like the Smith and Cross would add the graham cracker. No, I I agree with that. It was either Smith and Cross or Appleton, I would suggest. Right. Or the Ocho. The yeah, but the Bacardi the Bacardi Ocho is just a little bit too mild. Yeah, that's I think, true. I think to stand up against or to bring out the banana, you need more. I agree. Didn't shake it enough? No. Personal feel. And you're still using the worst shaker for a flip. <laughs> sue me. I'm not going to sue you. So then I'd have to pay myself. Sleep with me. No. Okay. <laughs> I need more water. <laughs> Strawberry pineapple infused Campari. Jungle bird. We are going to uh, tomorrow infuse a whole bottle of Campari with... Uh, strawberry. With strawberry. Which it has to be tomorrow because the strawberries are going to go bad soon because I bought them like four days ago. Workout tonight. <laughs> My hair's out of control. Are you, so, are you gonna get a cut or no? I don't know yet. See, I told him he's in that mid length where every girl who has ever cut her hair into a pixie uh, realizes, like, either I can deal with this gross middle phase, which I'm also in, for like a year, or I can just chop it all off again. That is, uh, are you going to grate the nutmeg or no? No. Yeah, there's nutmeg in there from, so. Right, that's true. I, I want to try it without nutmeg first. Yeah, you can take that for a sip. Carl Bob. When are you going to get a bob cut? Tomorrow. When I, or I'll drunk cut it tonight. Little bit too much Smith and Cross. I think so. Like a quarter ounce. Like a or like spoon. a bar spoonful. Yeah. Yeah. But so, this is significantly better. Right. It's exactly what I was wanting it to and be. And Trevor said it would add the banana funk, which it does. It does. I think but that's why we have such a hard time with Smith and Cross because it has that. It has a weird, like, cooling funk afterwards. Like, mm -hmm. it's cool. It's like cold. Yeah. In your nose. You know what I didn't put in there? What? No heavy whipped cream this mm. time either. 
which I think that helps. I think that egg, the whole egg does what the heavy whipped cream does. Yeah. Makes that creaminess and cakiness. Yeah. Um, for people who like Campari, Andy, uh, Caribbean Andy did a coffee coconut wash um, Campari. And that was delicious. Like I could have just drank that just straight like that. It was great. Yeah. Super good. Mm. And then Vino did the strawberry Campari, right? Uh, yeah. Well, technically, Cocktail Chemistry did it oh, first. And Vino okay. goes, hey, Cocktail Chemistry, I did this. But yes. Right. Okay. I mean, obviously, he's not the first person to do it. but Right. Brought it on your radar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely only about... A bar spoon of Smith & Grass. Just enough to give it a little... Mm-hmm. I'm just still wondering if there's just something else that's like coconut. Just, just a little bit of coconut cream to boost that banana a little bit more. Yeah, I like the idea. Or demerara syrup. Demerara. I, still think, I was I still like coconut. I mean, that's just because I love coconut, but demerara syrup would definitely add to the graham crackery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That's why this community is great because you just kind of give out suggestions. What about this? What about that? Because everyone has different, completely different palettes, and so uh -huh. some people like just have different suggestions. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely like worth worth more work going. All right, not like oh we all right. I'm good with never revisiting this idea yeah. again. This is definitely for sure one of them. Yep. And that like dead Elvis drink. Yeah, that's what we should call it. The dead Elvis. The dead Elvis. <laughs> Can you please recap what's in this one? Uh, this current version is an ounce and a half of banana liqueur, an ounce of vanilla vodka, a quarter ounce of Smith and Cross, and a full egg. Yep. I think maybe just like a bar spoon of smith and cross and a bar, bar spoon, spoon of coconut of coconut just, cream just a little bit because like i don't yeah. want to taste the coconut but i want the coconut richness right okay we'll do one more we're gonna try it one more time i guess does that mean i need to finish this one it's a lot more yellow on camera than it is in person Maybe, or maybe just the lights over there, so it's so bright. If I put my glasses on, y'all can see the the light coming from over there. It's massive. Oh, no, you can't. These glasses are better. A little bit, if I turn right that way. Oh. So much Smith and Grass. <sighs> Hiya. Uh, Livio, what what's your favorite cocktail? I mean, I watched your channel for a while now, and I don't think I've either a picked up on it. You could have said it in in my non-paying attention world. Oh, is she talking about the strawberry Campari? Yeah. Yeah, we're See, looking we're looking forward to that. Yeah, and the uh the bitterness of the Campari is what obviously turns me off on it. Like I like the flavor, but it's just the that last little bit on the back of your tongue that I just can't do. Yeah. So I'm hoping that that's what the strawberry gets rid of, and that's what you're saying it does. So that's awesome. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, so we're do. Oh, I forgot an egg. Oh darn! What are, what is one supposed to do? Oh, Go no. get an egg from the fridge. That's true. Just don't grab your hard-boiled eggs. No, they're all gone. You ate them all. Yeah, three a day. 
three hard boiled eggs a day for breakfast. Gross. That and a protein shake, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I think my stomach would tell you otherwise, but. We're going to kick that later. I know. Okay, <laughs> so what we're doing now is an ounce of vanilla vodka. We're going to do a bar spoon of Smith & Cross. Uh-huh. Uh, we did an ounce and a half of the banana liqueur, and should we do the cinnamon demerara no, or the regular? Regular cinnamon would overpower the banana. I think. Okay. Or wait, do you? Oh yeah. Or do you want to do coconut demerara? Let's just do demerara. I want to do coconut, but if we can do demerara. That's do demerara. Give Trevor a little. And then a bar spoon of demerara. Because, yeah, a coconut banana cream pie is a pretty common thing, too. Yeah. But you know what? Hey, I'm willing to do the research. We are willing to do the research for you guys. Absolutely. So. We can't get Giffords. Yeah. So my assumption is Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it tastes like... Um, banana runts? No, banana Laffy Taffy. Banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah, it kind of tastes like banana runts, but like Laffy Taffy is more accurate. You're my entertainment. Good job. Thanks, Paul. Do a bar spoon of both. Get crazy. That would be way too sweet, I think. But maybe it ah, would. No, let's do it. Fuck it. Fuck around and find out. Yeah. My mom wants us to do a fuck around and find out shirt, but she doesn't want us to say fuck. So she wants F A O. Oh, Wait, so... F A A. My dad's the F O. <laughs> Parents. Parents will just never understand. <laughs> and I've decided we're going to garnish this one with a cherry, like the cherry on top of the piece of pie. There's cherry on a. I don't know. There might be. Okay. I'm not arguing. I'm just the asking. smell might help. Shake it. Shake, Shake it what your mama paper. gave you. Your mama didn't give you much. My eyes? <laughs> no, I'm talking about your butt. Because uh, that's what that is a reference I know. to. <laughs> but I'm telling you what my mama did give you. Your eyes, yeah. <laughs> your entire face. Whipped cream on top, then the cherry. Yeah, see? No. Carl refuses to use whipped cream on top of his drinks unless he makes it from his own gun with the he has the little dealy with the carbon or the Yeah, it's carbon. Yeah. CO2. Canister. Oh, and we don't have any whipped cream because my son accidentally whipped the whole entire can. Whipped it. Accidentally whipped it without using the cream, cream. at all. And then put it back in the fridge. Yep, because he's an idiot. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it was an accident. Oh, so you were didn't wonder why none of the whipped cream was coming out, but all this other gas is coming out. Right, the nitrous. Okay. <sighs> Kids, don't have. Don't have. <laughs> if you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> Carl's just an old diva about whipped cream there. <laughs> Trevor said that, didn't yeah. <laughs> The entertainment value would be if Riley did the shaking. No. <laughs> no. Nicholas, wouldn't. got four kids? Damn, son. So my daughter turned I'll 18 uh, in February. My son will turn 16 in May. It's way too late for him. Well, and I got snipped, too. So no more kids for this guy. It's only because they wouldn't yank mine. Because my future husband might want kids someday. We won't <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> it's a little pain. 
Yes. That's exactly where it needs to be. That is. Yes. 11, 16, 18, and 19. How old are you, Nicholas? I'm 40. It's a couple more years and they're all out, bud. That's a different, Trevor, that's a different <laughs> entertainment, PJ. <laughs> that's the OnlyFans account. So if you guys right. would like to apply for that. That would require us making an OnlyFans. Oh, shit. Well, you look great for 51. Hmm. That's this, so good. This is spot on now. Do you remember what's in it? I'll write it down. Yep. Ounce and a half of banana liqueur. Ounce of vanilla vodka. One egg white. A bar. Egg? One egg. Yes, one egg. Okay. Um, a bar spoon of Smith & Crofts. Coconut cream and demerara. This is exact. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Yes. Yep. Yep. That demerara adds that richness. You can still taste that Smith and Cross in there, but the demerara. And I think the cherry does something nice for the nose. Yep. Like it, it gives you the whipped cream that you want because you associate whipped cream and cherry together. I can see that. Yeah, this is great. This is exactly what I was hoping we'd get a banana cream pie to taste like. This is like if you're in, I don't know if Dairy Queen's a national chain or not, but in the Midwest, Dairy Queen is like an ice cream shop. I'm pretty sure Dairy Queen is a pretty popular thing. Yeah, but like this is a Dairy Queen banana cream pie blizzard. It is. It's like banana <laughs> banana wafers almost. Vanilla wafers. Yeah. Yeah. I look what Nicholas said. <laughs> Scheming idea for my experiment. <laughs> See, there you go, bud. You just gotta give us for every drink you sell. You gotta give ten percent to the Alchemix Bar Donation Club. Bar Donation Club thing yeah. stuff. The menu list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, guys. Dairy Queen, coast to coast in Canada. In Canada. Is uh, uh is Dairy Queen a thing in Australia? I doubt it. I doubt it. You guys have like an ice cream national chain. Like a. Everybody knows what this is. And, uh, Absolutely <laughs> not. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, Dairy Queen is just an ice cream place. They make kind of shitty food, but they're known for their whole deal is they make this blizzard, which is like a big, thick milkshake, and they tip it over. It's but, fast food ice cream. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Ray? Good to see you. All right. So if uh, everyone would appreciate it, hit that little like button. Show how much you love us. Because uh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. We actually don't have any sonar. Australia has Steve the bartender's new ice cream chain. Oh, really? Trevor, that good? Man, there was years ago, they used to have this like firecracker burger or something. That was really good. I used to get super drunk and eat the, demolish that thing. No, he's straight up I'm messing with you, Nicholas. All right, peace out, Jesse. Uh, we'll take a look. Uh, 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 Check out your, your track uh, uh, later tonight once we uh, end the live stream. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate the love for the subscribe, and we'll see you again. Go make some good music. Yes. Check out Heatbox. Yes. Ah, oh, damn it! Now I really gotta go to Canada. What? So, um, uh. I was telling him about this burger I used to like at Derek and called like the firecracker or something like that. It was like, uh, it was basically our fire. It had fire on it. Yeah, and fire sauce. And I used to like get smashed and love that thing. It's basically fire in the hole. I feel like they bring that out every summer or something. I don't know. Like, it's, so, but Trevor's saying it's still on the menu there. So the thing is, I had a friend in my hometown where I grew up, there was, there was a Dairy Queen and we were a Brazer style Dairy Queen, which is different than other Dairy Queens. Uh, brazers means that they get to like basically pick their menu 
Mm-hmm. And there are certain things that get to be that get to stay on the menu, right? Even if they're not, even if they're seasonal. Yeah. So maybe theirs is a brazier, and they get to keep it. It might be completely just different in Canada altogether. Or that too. also, that too, yes. Maybe I know, I know. all of the maybe all of them in Canada are brazers. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't know that it was called a brazier. I just thought it was like an independent franchise. Then. Mm-hmm. Interesting. The more you know, guys. The more you know. Trevor, what are you drinking on night? Anything? Love Smith and Cross. I so I did a shot of it and I was not mad. I probably should have been considering the like the value of the bottle. Yeah. But we we've been having issues finding drinks we like with it. We we don't drink rum by itself, except for this one. This one is fantastic by itself. I enjoy this. That's a good sipping rum. Yeah. But I'm not mad we bought Smith and Cross. I, I, but for this drink, it works well. Yeah. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. A What's lot. that from? It's a movie. Yeah, I know. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Going on, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ray. Those cherries are so good. They're so good. <laughs> Why are they so good? I don't know. So I told Riley when we're done with, uh, we're almost out of cherry. So we saw the like juice. Four in here. Is we're going to infuse that juice with a vodka. And Ten calories per cherry. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to infusing this cherry juice with some goodness. What are we gonna do? I think we should do Campari. Yeah, you want to do that? Should we just split that bottle half strawberries, half this? Trevor was a runaway train wreck last night. <laughs> And he works three hours tomorrow morning and flies home for two weeks. So he's drinking water. Oh, okay. Runaway train wreck, huh? What did you drink last night then to make you that bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a hotel bed nursing myself back to some kind of normalcy. <laughs> I, 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 I can see myself doing that. Like, uh, That's what um, I did last Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. What was Saturday night? When we were on the phone with Chelsea, video oh, chat with Chelsea. Yeah. So she was video chatting with one of her super good friends, or we were video chatting with one of our super good friends from college. My college doubles partner. We played tennis, tennis together. And her boyfriend. And so, you know, we're sitting there talking, and I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go to bed because I was tired. I went to bed. And then a biddle of rum and a biddle of vodka, <laughs> a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Well, Trevor, man, I don't think if we ever hung out, you might have you, you might have to get a head start. <laughs> you know, then we'll come and hang out with you. You need a really pregame before we. Uh... Uh, he'd die, and I'd be taking care of both of you guys. <laughs> True that. True that. Where'd the banana cream pie one go? I don't know. It disappeared. <laughs> it can't take you anywhere. <laughs> I don't want another one of those because just there's so many calories. So what do I want? I want something light. Light. Like, want to hand me the ring pour? I may do that for you. My and some ice. Oh, I can't do that for you. Yeah, you can. It's $50, please. <laughs> I've never car- carried Carl home, but I have definitely restrained him when he tried to beat up a frat bro. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> What the fuck was in here? I don't know. You're. I don't know why you're. Who cares? <laughs> but it did something weird to the rum. <laughs> was it coconut? Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Running out of ice. That's so I have it. a new uh, uh, thing for our lives. Is. I'll fill up my freezer with all my rubber, like molds and all like that. Silicone molds. And once we're out of that, no more drinking. Because we used to buy bags of ice. That would just last forever, these live drinks. None more of that nonsense. None more. Bottle opener, please. So now I'm going to go with a uh, nice and refreshing tonic, gin and tonic. Yeah, Ray. uh, Suggest some of those uh, sipping rooms. Oh, look. Cam, 
uh, drink, drinking, drinking. Oh, right, right, right. So, Cam, I'm assuming that's you. Um, the power of booze is never on Carl's side. <laughs> no, you would Ever. think so. You would think booze and I would get along very well together. See, Carl has always been a gangly guy, so he's he's got the the span, but he doesn't have the power behind it. So when he tries to uh, peace out, Paul. So when he tries to fight people, he fails. But he he he. What is it? Napoleon? It's not a Napoleon complex because you're big, but it's like you've got this machismo about you. That's just like, yes, I am man, hear me roar. I can fight anybody when you really can't. So here's the thing. I've never gotten into a fight. And most of the time, me being 6'3 and overpower, like not overpowering, over dominating people has usually got me out of every fight right. that I almost got right. into. You have, you have, you posture, yeah. but you never actually have to follow through with your posturing. Yeah. And the only times you've ever had to follow through, I've res- literally restrained you. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I don't know. Okay, so what time is it in Dublin right now? It's got to be 6, 3, 3 in the morning? 5, 2 in the morning? Maybe they just got out of work. That's true. Nah, they probably still shut down. Carl has to reach for sure. <laughs> You're under- <laughs> Team for okay, the zombie apocalypse. So- I have a friend who was like really into the idea of a zombie apocalypse and like making a plan. I am the like the 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 caregiver. Yeah. Like I need so Carl's got the smarts to be able to like strategize. He's really good at risk. So we just need soldiers and we need like somebody who's really good with medicine. I'm pretty decent with medicine as far as like herbal remedies go. But like it's 3 a.m. YouTube yeah. never sleeps. YouTube never sleeps. <laughs> so um, I'm in a Discord group, uh, and uh, one of these Discord groups, and this guy, he he was showing us this website. I'm like, where do you live? And he's like, Dublin. I'm like, oh, have you heard of Drink In? He's like, nope. And I showed him your guys' YouTube link, and then he was like, oh no, those used to be like the what you guys used to call like E3 or something like that? E something? And I'm like, oh, yeah, now there are these, you know. So I don't know if you guys used to be called something else or I don't know. But. Ray's still trying to edit his last drunken Jamrock. Good luck, man. I know nothing about the process. I am literally just here to edit the words that Carl tries to type. <laughs> Editing. It's a, it's a process for sure. The English language is not your forte. It's fine. I'm okay with that. But you are you are very good with the uh, Adobe platform. I understand zeros and ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's only two variables in that. It's fine. I'm okay with that. That's what makes us a good team. Yeah. If we both were like, now we were both super nerdy website people, it would be pretty great too. But It would. I mean, I think I'm nerdy enough. Yeah. Like, I also did work for GoDaddy. Right, but I'm saying if I could have someone else help me code. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I could learn it, but I don't have the time. It is a process for sure. Is anyone else drinking anything right now? Ray, what are you drinking? Cam, are you anything at 3 in the morning? I don't know. It's <laughs> 3 in the morning, I'm usually like... I don't know, man. I spent a lot of nights at a strip club because the bartenders who were getting off work wanted to go somewhere where they could drink that wasn't home. Yeah. I get that. But what's the what's drinking like in Dublin? What's time bar close close there? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. Or maybe just up to be up, you know. I I don't know. I I spent so much time in Wales, but I don't know what the bar close is there. Yeah. Because I don't think we ever made it. <laughs> right. I mean you're only over there for a little bit of time and yeah, but six months is long enough to adapt. That's true. But you're still doing a lot of things, though, right? They, on a daily, no? Well, I mean, I was in university. Right. Like, I mean, I was living the university lifestyle. Maybe we did meet bar clothes, but, I mean, I think we just hopped around so much, then we decided to have afties at the flat. Mm. Like. <laughs> afties at the flat. <laughs> afties. Afties. Trevor, we don't have one planned, but we're we definitely plan on doing one. Yeah. Like we don't have a time or a date set, but we definitely plan on it. And Anne is definitely invited. 
I think the, I think three is a good number. Three is a good number. Four would be okay, but that's a lot. Yeah. So Anne and Jess would be perfect. I think all three of us with trivia and conversation would be great. Peanut gallery in the back. And Carl with his fucking peanut gallery. <laughs> Pardon my French. Sorry, Trent. Sorry, Mom. Ooh la la. <laughs> That's all the French I know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Menage a trois? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Ooh la la. You're not I... even saying yes correctly in French. It's we. Oui. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Well, since they canceled Pepe Le Pew, I don't know shit anymore. Well, Pepe Le Pew was kind of rapey the whole time. <laughs> but it was with the same girl. It was still rapey. She said no. He said do it anyway. <sighs> okay, we're done. Okay, let's see. Finishing this unreal bottle of Rioja. What what is Rioja? No idea. Bars kick out at like one or two a.m., but they're still closed. So we're on the late shift content writing, listening to you guys. Nice. Awesome. Well, hello to anyone else that's out there. We I love your channel. We love your channel. It's great. It's it's uh. I love I love great content. You guys are putting yes. out some great content. Yes. Spanish, Spanish red, red wine. wine. Oh, oh okay. that makes sense. Nice. Because Roja is red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're on culture swine in Iowa. What well, can we say? That it's just coming time for to see drunk. a drunk Carl. No, Jeff. No. You're not that drunk. Like yeah. you're you're drunk, but you're not like. Shit house, Carl. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, drinking platform. If any of you guys are not, uh, <laughs> Trevor, but your honor, it was the same girl, not a super defense. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Trevor. Day rape is still rape. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Okay. Okay. So, drinking platform, they're a group of people in Dublin. Whiskey enthusiasts, beer enthusiasts, wine enthusiasts that they're creating this huge community more than just you two. They have an Indiegogo, which I bought two of their starter packs. I told you this in a drunken state one time. No. Yeah, yeah I did. What'd you buy? Um, they're doing like an online course. They have a book. And what else did I buy? A one-year membership to their platform. It was like 70 bucks total. Okay. Yeah. But. I what, told you about it. Um, But they're having two like uh, meetups. One's in uh, Dublin. I think the other one is in Spain. Guys, guys, if but, you just just like DM me, Venmo me, <laughs> I like donate the money for me to go to Dublin again. Yeah. <sighs> so they're doing it this year. And I said, hopefully. Put my Venmo in the description. <laughs> hopefully we can figure out how we can get there in 2022. I yeah. don't know how, but like, I guess we can start saving up. But anyways. It'd be great to go. I would love to go do something like that. Yeah. I, man, I was in Dublin on Easter. So like, would it, what would have been 11 years? Yeah. 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Yeah. Cause I was, 20 I, years turned, old? I turned 21 when I was in Wales. So 10 years ago. Yeah. You're 31 years now. So yeah, 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. And I was in Dublin for Easter and that was a trip, man, to watch the Irish Catholics be Irish Catholic in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> it's something weird because I had a, I had a appreciate that cam. I was, I had a girl in my, in my study abroad group who was Catholic. Yeah. So we went to mass with her just to just experience Catholicism in Ireland. Right. It was pretty dope. <laughs> you need with that holy pants and cry above the men. Trevor, like, I haven't yeah. done that yet. <laughs> feet, just feet, not my feet. But um, so funny thing is, um, Pat McAfee, um, of the Indianapolis Colts, Colts kicker fame. Yeah, he used to be the punter and uh and uh and uh, the kickoff kicker for Colts for like six or eight years. So, anyways, he's very funny. He's on his podcast. So, anyways, on this past St. Patty's Day, he was talking about some of his favorite uh, St. Patty's Day experiences. Well, he went to Dublin one time. Or I'm sorry, he went to Ireland. He went to Ireland completely for uh, St. Paddy's Day. 
and uh, and he is of Irish descent, like yeah, his, McAfee, McAfee, either. right? You know, and so and he thought he was gonna have not welcome arms, but he didn't think he would have a lot of issues there. He right. said all these small little bars throughout all the little towns in Ireland gave him shit because he is. He's a bigger guy. He kind of looks like a bro because he's very muscular. You know, he's got big well, yeah, legs. He's a football player. Football player. Yeah, American football. Player. American American football player. He's got blonde hair, maybe blue eyes, right? So, but he's not a bro. Like he's just a funny guy. Rob's being the only family. <laughs> right. So, anyways, he was just saying that he went to every town and he just kept getting shit from all these local, you know, Ireland drunk guys. You know, oh, you're American, blah blah blah. But when he said he went to Dublin, completely different because Dublin is a it plays into the stereotype type of, you know, like we're a, right. we're a big city. We appreciate anyone coming in. But well, I mean, what it comes down to it is like, and I'm hey, not saying Ireland's a bad country to go to. I'm just saying like, no, it was Ireland's a, story a beautiful country. To oh visit. yeah. It is a beautiful country to visit, but it's just like people who go to New York and they play on the New York vibe. Like, right. Yeah. It, if people from outside Ireland go to Ireland to, to celebrate St. Patty's Day, which I recently learned is much like Thanksgiving in the United States when it's not great. Yeah. <sighs> Sad. But, um, like, if you're going to make money off it, you're going to make money off it. And if people want to celebrate St. Patty's Day in Ireland, then Dublin is a place to go. because, And the bars are going to play into that because money's coming in yeah. by the... Just they're just raking it in. <laughs> Carl, I'll be great in chat while we do our live. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We peanut gallery can be on their own chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ireland is beautiful. I've never been outside the United States. I've been to Hawaii, which I know is part of the United States, but it's still kind of not. Though. It's still its own little thing because nowhere else in the United States is Hawaii. You know, like you know. So the tips on St. Patty's are unreal for real. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, because bet. you have a bunch of American tourists <laughs> wanting to celebrate the real holiday of the country, which is sad, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't wait. So, we are we hope we hope to, once my son graduates, graduates high school, um, if, if it's good, you know, we I would hope to be able to go and travel and and. Cam, if you and you guys would take me in, I would love to bartend for a day or a night. Yes. You know, just go in. You should bartend there on St. Patty's Day. Oh, my God. I'd get murdered. Well, you wouldn't because you know the drill. Like You've done St. Patty's Day in the United States, which is right. what St. Patty's Day there is. But you got to remember, though, the bars I worked at. My busy days are Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve. Those yeah. are my busy days. But you worked at St. Patty's at Shuey. Yeah, but that wasn't that. That's nothing. That's nothing compared to what these guys are probably going through. That's Five true. deep, four deep. Yeah, but their liquor laws are different. Yeah, it's different. But I'm set, just the process of. I don't know. Uh, I think you could do it. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm not saying I couldn't. I'm just saying I would love to do it and like experience, experience the heck, it. the yeah, the yeah. Hectic yeah. like we have to pay me. Just like just experience would be amazing. Yeah. But I just remember I worked in a Mexican restaurant on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Woof. <laughs> they did not pay me enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> but I'm down. For real, Cinco de Mayo at a Mexican restaurant is the worst hell I've ever been through. Yeah. We I was making barrel margaritas. I so usually the barrel would be filled every day. Yeah, I filled that barrel four times <laughs> while making mojitos. Right. Who gets a mojito on Cinco de Mayo? Everybody, because it's a, it's it's the rest. It's on their menu. We have margaritas and we have mojitos and then we have other liquor. Here you go. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and Cam, um, you asked me for my cranberry recipe. I have to refigure that because again, with my uh, uh, that Patron chili, the uh, Patron XO chili one I was talking about, I can't find both of those recipes, so I have to recreate both of those. I have a pretty good idea of how they both go, but once I know, I'll make videos and then you can cranberry cranberry sauce because he did a Cosmo, oh. and I told him I did a uh, my own cranberry puree, and he wanted the recipe. Right. Well, I don't remember what the recipe was. I have to um, recreate it. 
Right. So we'll make videos and you can borrow or steal them. I'm absolutely fine with that. Yeah. But he told me a recipe that they did a New York sour with a port reduction. <gasps> oh. And it's it's in the he put it in the comments. And so I gotta go find that. I, that's definitely one. I love I love port wine. Like it's there have I, been times where we've been like out at still waiting patiently. <laughs> <laughs> we've been out and Carl's like, I really want a good port. And then so we'll go to a bar that should have a good port. And there's no good port. No. So anytime we have a bottle here, I like drink it in two days and it's gone. Yeah, and then we can't do shit with it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. But I remember the one house, or the one time of ice house port or ice house wine or ice wine. Ice wine. Ice wine. Ice wine, yeah. There was one time you were like, I want a good port, but I guess ice wine will do. <laughs> ice wine's amazing. <laughs> ice, oh, ice wine is a whole nother level. But how's your gin and tonic with random residue in it? Eh. It's you know gin and tonic. It's really bitter for the way my palate has been all night. Does anyone else like to take pulls of Kapari right out of the bottle? Don't do it. It's a bad idea. Oh, man. It is so good. Like those orange notes are inside there. Orange and then candy note. Oh, I cannot wait. Say? Mm. I don't know. Love ice wine. Yeah. I haven't had it for quite a while. The restaurant I worked at, where I started learning mixology and stuff like that, one of our uh, one of our wine reps was like, "Hey, do you guys want to carry this?" And she gave us three different kinds, and um, and they're all different styles of white wine turned into ice wine, and they were all great. And I fell in love instantaneously with them. So, what's the process of making ice wine? What makes it different than like sure? Else? So, if I get this wrong, someone correct me. But basically, it's one of those laws that you have to you have to harvest and produce the grapes below a certain temperature, weather temperature. Okay. So basically, it's ice weather. Okay, you know, so like below thirty-two degrees yeah. Fahrenheit or zero Celsius. Yeah, but it's uh, they don't make it in the United States. I think it's over like in like specific countries in Europe and stuff. Yeah, like, like that. the the Nordic countries, the Nordic or, countries, and yeah. stuff like that, or the Scandinavian peninsula. Yep. Yeah. So again, I could be wrong about that. Someone please correct me. It's been a while since I'm I'm going back from ten years of remembering in my head. Christine says yes. A shot of Campari out of the bottle. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Um, so yes, it, it gives it that like desserty, you know, and stuff like that. Again, if I could be wrong, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But we can't, it's not really available here because it's not that popular. Right. I remember we were the only one in the restaurants that had it. And when people knew we had it or I suggested it, people just fell in love. You're spot on. They pressed the grapes whilst frozen. Yeah. So um the grapes need to be frozen while still on the vines. Yeah. Um, we should. We definitely didn't even consider looking for that while we were in Madison last time. So no, I'll that, write it down. Yeah, I bet they would have it there. I have ADD, so like I have to write shit down if I'm going to remember it. Otherwise, I'm not going to. It's called object permanence, which a lot of people with ADHD and ADD lack. Okay. So I wrote it down. I like a lot of things. What? Huh? 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 What? what? Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> how how is that wine? Are you guys drinking? Is that is that a normal wine that you guys are drinking, or is this like a one off thing? Like I guess like an expensive bottle, or is it just normal? A door ice wine. Oh, nice. We'll check it out. So we're gonna be super honest. We we as far as we know, we legally cannot enter Canada for five more years. For four more. For, for several reasons. One reason. Um, <laughs> One reason. <laughs> but OWI, unfortunately. Um, They're going to ask. Um, okay. But it's all about going to get a dram of two or more do. We have this nifty little bottle we haven't even opened yet. Um, but we can't order anything to Iowa because Iowa is very specific. We're a control state, so yeah. the state of Iowa has to purchase the liquor before we can buy it so we can't have any type of liquor or spirit or wine delivered to us right but, but we could probably like we could get it ow um operating while intoxicated yeah driving drunk basically 
Um, we didn't even open this yet. Should we, should try we do it? it? After I pee? <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, what was she saying? Yeah, it sucks. We both we we both were doing well. We both each got one within six months, but you know, I'm not proud of uh, of it. But you know, we uh, whatever. What do you want to? I don't know. It sucks. Huh. Um. Okay. Cool. So we live, so we live uh, right next to Wisconsin and Illinois. So we go to those states to order or pick up a lot of stuff. So we might be able to order specific things. So we'll definitely check into that specific ice wine, Christine, and see if we can get it. Uh, but yeah. So yes. So we, again, this is when we first got the O-dubs. Um, it's a Canada law that won't let us in. Back then, it was Canada won't let you in for 10 years. So maybe they changed it. Maybe. I don't know. So we would love to come to Canada. There are some parts in Canada I would love to. Uh, you know, Trevor, Trevor Rose in the group is from Canada. You know, Booze on the Rocks. You know, there's. Those are big tastes. I'm a big boy. Look, gonna... what, look what Trevor just said. Again, we might be 100% incorrect and now about the laws. Again, we have not looked into it because we just assume. But then again, it's also money, right? It costs a lot of money to to, to uh, drive up there and, uh, you know, and do things. So. so maybe it's one of those things you look into just to see. Maybe. I mean, in theory, we're not that far from Canada. You gave me the big one. Did I? Are you sure? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Okay. So we bought that bottle because of the because specifically the bottle itself yeah, is amazing. It's, like it's, it's pretty. baller looking. <laughs> like, did you guys ever watch cartoons? Like, I specifically remember the yeah. rescuers down under. Oh, I love that movie. Where, I remember going to the movie where, theater to see that movie. Where the where the little uh dragonfly would take a Take a or took a drink out of the crock of triple yeah, X. Yeah, this reminds me of that. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. All right, so we're gonna try this. this is, we just opened this. What's funny, Leo? Just he hasn't done anything in the chat, and all of a sudden he goes, "Yes, do it." Oh yeah, I know we can get into the UK and Ireland. It's just Canada's got weird laws. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> If, I'm gonna need like something sweet to counteract this. Like tonic is not gonna do it because the tonic is still on my tongue. No, you drink everything else. <laughs> you literally drink everything else we have in this house. And I did not. We have so much to drink. Just get the passion fruit juice. Just put it in a little another little guy. Yeah. What'd you just knock over? It's the cat. Oh. Here. He's he's napped enough. Now he's now it's just time for a zoomies. Oh, you know what we should do after this? What? Our Jameson infused bacon. Yeah, we should breakfast shot. We should. Cheers. Be hungover. Cheers, tomorrow. everyone. It's oh. nice. It's really smooth. Mm -hmm. Like there's hardly any burn on that at all. I don't need that. Bye. Who's leaving? Drinking. Oh, see you later, guys. Have a good night, everyone. Good talking to you. So, Stay out here. Frankie, it was from the rescuers. Oh, okay, right. Evan Rude, yes. <laughs> Come, Frankie, coming in with the uh, the hot take. No yes. comments all night except for here's your movie quote. <laughs> <laughs> water girl, more water. Oh shoot. Do you want to go fill this up? <laughs> we done. drank a half gallon of water already. We're working on it. You drank half gallon. I'm still on my first glass. Evan, even rude. I need to, huh? Who? No, I was just saying Evan rude. 
even rude. Because I really need to watch those movies again, but I really don't want to pay for Disney Plus. We're gonna do it. Oh wait, no, my clients have it at work. I'm gonna watch Rescuers tomorrow. If my clients want to, it's client's choice, but I think they'll want to. The passion fruit was a nice way to cut the whiskey. What'd you say? Nothing. He's over there swearing like he forgot something. Anne is said Anne said she's drinking her strawberry pineapple Campari Jungle Bird right now. Ooh, nice. We had a Jungle Bird at that tiki bar in Des Moines, right? Yep. That was and that? Saturn. The Saturn was the best one. Oh, the Saturn was the best one. Okay, so what is that? This is the Jameson. Oh. Okay, so we love breakfast shots. Um, we did a we did a collab with Louis Fernandez on his channel. Uh, and, and we did Steve a breakfast shot. It on his and channel. Steve, the bartender, last Saturday did eight shots, and we were lucky enough that he did a shot we recommend to and shot us out. Which thank you, Steve, if you ever watch our live stream ever again. Um, so what we did was a lot of people. So with the breakfast shot, traditionally, it's just Jameson and butter shots, equal parts, and one shot glass, and orange juice, and a second glass as a chaser. It is very important that you do it. Boom, boom, no breath in between. You have to do the shot and the orange juice chaser without breathing in between. And then after you do the orange juice, a lot of people serve it with bacon, so you eat the bacon afterwards. So we decided to fat wash Jameson with bacon grease. Um, it sounds terrible, but it's fine. Um, to get that bacon flavor without having to actually eat bacon. Yep. So we're this is the first time we're doing this. And we're gonna give it a little little try. Yes. A little try. Where's the uh here we go? Here, you want some more? Here's more shot glasses. No, I want the a two beer, oh. please. We have our our shot glasses are mug shots of famous uh, prohibition gangsters, like mobsters as they would be today. So out of his, sh we have um, Pretty Boy Floyd and Al Capone as our shots today. Here we have Lucky Luciano and John Dillinger. We also have Bugsy Siegel and Machine Gun Kelly somewhere. Not MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, like original Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> yeah. Although I do really like Machine Gun Kelly, like MGK. I don't know why. I like his emo album, his most recent album. You can hate me or not. Whatever. Punchy. <sighs> do we need okay. to do this? Yep. Well, it's already poured, so we are going to do it. Okay. Again, we appreciate everyone hanging out with us for multiple hours. Frankie, for coming in for one comment. That's awesome. Love yes. it. For anyone else that's watching this this far, we appreciate it. We uh, appreciate you. So this is for you. Cheers. Cheers. Holy cow, that was oh so good. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I still taste the bacon. Oh my God. It, we may have used too much bacon grease, but barely. I think we just reduce it down just a little bit. Yeah. We didn't really measure though. We just, just kind of we just kind of put things in a glass and called it a day. That was so good. Oh my god. We're amazing people. No, no. we're not amazing people, but we're really good at Drinking. intoxicating people. That was so good. That was that oh my god uh, that's next level right there okay so here's the thing you should tell seven hills to put a breakfast shot on their menu and then just have them fat wash the bacon beer yeah that sounds great but i mean it was really good 
Oh, you right. Throw that away after 72 hours. Yeah, but like you couldn't sell a 12 ounces worth of, or whatever. Yeah. Worth of Jameson in three days. Just on a weekend special. That's true. Just you one bottle of Jameson at a time. That's true. <laughs> Matthew Glass Livio says, just come visit me in Vegas. <laughs> Dude, uh, so um I, has anyone talked about Discord yet? If not, message me on Instagram. But yep. anyways, um a bunch of us want to come out to Vegas in 2022. Like a bunch of us, like half these people here in this chat, you know, the other players, Rob, you know, uh, I'm missing everyone else yep. in this community. All want to get hang out and come out to Vegas because that's the cheapest place for all of us to get to. Right. And it's party central. Right. So, so Christine, um, so what we did is we cooked bacon to make breakfast sandwiches. Thanks, Trevor. I'll take a look afterwards. And then, um, so we cooked bacon and then we took the bacon grease yep. and we put it into Jameson. And that is called a fat wash is when you take the fat of something and then you put liquor in it. A lot of people fat wash with coconut oil. A lot of people fat wash with Nutella, peanut butter. Well, Nutella is technically not fat washing, but yeah. Anyways. Well, no, no, it is because Nutella is heavy fat content. Oh, well, like a fat oil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Fat washing is basically adding a fat to a spirit and having the flavors. It's basically an infusion, right? Yep. Yep. You're just infusing uh, that oil from that liquid. And basically what will happen after a while, it'll, the the fat will harden up and collagulate. Congeal. Congeal to the top. And then you just pour it out into a strainer. We, I did not. I should have put this through a coffee filter because there's still some like uh, fatty uh, 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 molecules or uh, residue yeah. in it. But again, we're at home. I don't really care. Um, but uh, um, bye, Ray. Bye, Ray. Um, but anyways, yes, uh, it's a great way to like infuse liquids. And what's great is it doesn't take long. Like usually 24 hours and it's good. Like some that don't even take that long at all. Yeah. Like eight hours and you're yeah. good to go. Um, we've done this or since sitting for like two weeks now, we just haven't got around to doing it. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so the bacon fat wash, I feel like we probably should have strained it out earlier. Yeah. Like maybe after four to eight hours. Yeah. Or, but I, I just still think the ratio was, is a little. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really just. It's science. It's an experiment. You don't know what you're doing until you do it. Right. And then it all comes down to your like, personal taste and what you're going to do with that spirit right. afterwards, too. Right. Uh, my favorite that we've done so far was I took coconut oil, melted that down, and added it to uh, Mr. Black Coffee. Yes. That made a coconut uh, coffee thing. And that was amazing. Like, mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. oh, it was next level shit. Mm -hmm. I mean... I'm really excited for this uh, the strawberry infused Campari, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun stuff. Yeah. I also am, like, I really did enjoy your pecan infused bourbon. Bourbon, but. A little too much cayenne pepper. Yes. So, it, like, it, it's, it, it's experimenting. Like, nobody's going to do. Nobody, no cocktail that was perfect the first time. Yeah, I mean, if you get if you get lucky that first time, it's it's a lot of luck because even like professional mixologists, like you're still like you can get like close, but sometimes it still takes like a once in a while. Yeah, you still have to like there's subtleties that sh hey, this should work, but it doesn't quite yet. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think we should wrap this up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because that shot's gonna hit me real soon. And yeah. It's gonna be a rough night. Yep. All right, guys. Well, everyone, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Um for 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hours is usually op like the optimal time frame, I think, yep. for most things. Um 
I know we have uh, we have a full pineapple with cayenne pepper infusing tequila. It's been sitting there for two weeks. Yeah, but I feel like fruit is different than fat washing. Uh, I mean, strawberry and capari. Yeah. Well, Vino said five days for that for his. Yeah. So. But like I said, fruit it's, is it's all experimenting too. Washing. Yeah, it's all experimenting and figuring out what goes with what you're going to do with that cocktail mm -hmm. or liquor or spear, whatever mm -hmm. you want to say, right? So, anyways. We appreciate everyone for hanging out with us. Uh, again, in two weeks, we are not going to be doing a live stream. I'm going to be replaying or making public a stream that we did a month ago yep. uh, for uh, cancer research. Uh, one of them has a personal uh, sentiment. Yeah, right? personal tie. His personal mom time. passed away from breast cancer. Breast cancer was the end of cause. Uh, she so, had been fighting cancer for 10 plus years. So his yeah. aunt. Uh, My aunt, her sister. His started a Val's Pals, which is a cancer like it's it's a support system for the caregivers. So if your relative or a loved one has cancer and you spend if you're spending every day in the hospital, Val's Pals provides resources or like even just like give care packages for people who are caregivers, which yep. is a sorely underlooked right portion and, of the population and the reason my aunt thought of this is because she thought she was coming to iowa for a day or two and then she was up here for 10 14 days realizing she did not bring all this stuff so after my mom passed um uh, uh thanks Leo. we love you too man appreciate it um so she started this nonprofit. i've done as much as i can to help her out because it's my mom but anyways uh this woman i went to high school with her name's carrie her son, unfortunately, passed away at the age of like six or seven from cancer, very, from yeah. a very rare cancer. Was it retinoblastoma? I think, I don't know. I feel Maybe. like retinoblastoma yeah. sounds right, but either way. So either way, um, we're going to replay this live stream that we did, um, and it was it was a good time, you know, it, I'm, I mean, good is a, is a relative not, term, relative term, but Anyways, we'll replay that in two weeks instead of doing a live. So we'll be live in a month from now. So, yeah. Anyways, reach out to us if you have questions. Um, and, yeah, it's a good time. Good time. Cheers. Bye, guys. Cheers to everything. Have a good night, guys. Hit and left.